Darksville Town was a calm and warm place. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. The townspeople saw this, and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid, with a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain, the problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Another wonderful night to be a demon, isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Let's see... Uh, here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Heymanson's daughter and cut her braid. Check. Already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mmm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. 
feed laxative laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. All right, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid. Your nights of evilness are over. What's that? Sounds like Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over. For realsies. There's no escape from this one. None of your tricks will save you. No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town. Yep, that's Dan. I'd better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up. He's my best friend, Mr. Buttons. He's very silent today. Sometimes he gets grumpy. Hey, Mr. Buttons, want to chat? What? You're not in the mood? He's not in the mood. It's my nightstand, with a drawer full of evil plans. And my diary, also full of evil plans. It's a lonely, lonely sock. Where is your pair, my friend? It's just one. I don't want just one sock. They're the socks I was looking for last night. I don't want them now. And I don't know why I wanted them then. They smell. It's the ultimate guide to giving toasts. It's a really long book, but it gives good advice. My toasts are so much better now. It's my hook-shaped cane. I generally use it to ruin the school musicals by yanking kids off the stage with it. A gentleman has no class if he doesn't have his cane. It's the door to my bathroom. I locked it because I have problems sleeping if it's not nice and secured. I, uh, I'm afraid of the toilet monster. What, you never heard of it? That's probably because it's a product of my imagination. I know. I have problems. Is anyone in there? Hmm, seems that it's empty. The door is locked. Luckily for me, I'm not in a hurry to use the bathroom. It perfectly captures Mr. Button's personality. To the inventory you go. It's my lovely fish, Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks, like act like a fish or splash, but usually it's super ineffective. Hi, Domingo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Domingo? You are. Yeah, you're a good boy. No one knows when you're going to need to coat with this crazy weather. Even if that coat is old, and full of holes, and stinks. I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. With no bits at all. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. I should talk to him. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deeds. Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I am the relentless protector of Darkestville. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? On a Wednesday? Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. 147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Lady Danina and I are not the same person. She is a long-lost, charming, absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. 
<laughs> exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh-uh. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. <laughs> do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. Give me the basement key. No. Oh, come on, open that door. No, -uh. no way. Tonight your villainous legacy ends. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. Hey, that was my key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mechs I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Do you have the missing part of the trap door mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. What is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. Hey, I found Waldo, and he is dead. Hi, Waldo. How are you today? Talkative as always. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. It's my research about cybernetic ducks. Turns out, cybernetic ducks are a horrible idea. That's why I'm building a cybernetic chicken. A not-quite-finished cyborg chicken. It still needs a soul in the soul slot to work, if my theory is correct. I can't talk to that. It's the door that leads to my kitchen. The door is closed. I locked a giant rat inside. The true frozen throne. I can't talk to that. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. Now I can wash my hands properly. I read them when I don't have anything else to do. How the hell did that end up here? Is that even physically possible? I don't want to break the short. It's me. I can't talk to that. It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. Now it's properly lubed. Heh, <laughs> lube. A fake wanted poster made by Dan Teapot. I keep it as a memento. It reads, Dead or Alive, Sid the Demon, One Million Berry. It's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make a homing missile a long time ago. Now it's just full of cogs and gears. I can't use this screwdriver as it is right now. 
Now I have a fully functional screwdriver. Don't worry, it was already broken. A bunch of big cogs. I hope I didn't just void the warranty on this thing. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Perfect. There used to be a sandwich inside. It's empty. I think Dan stole my sandwich. Jackass. Old evil plans and research about a variety of things is inside those boxes alongside my old toys. Presto. Hey Dan, let me out. Ha! You'll never be able to... Hi, Dan. Would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha! You think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fascinating. I find your claims tenuous at best coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. You don't get it, do you? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. They'll track and hunt you down. They are the best of the best. I've kept you from getting a head start on fleeing. Like I said, I win. You're done. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed monologues? You've gone and messed up our whole dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best, and they will never... <coughs> Silence truly is golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me, oh my. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkest Hill. Mwah! <laughs> but, uh, I should probably quit wasting time with maniacal laughter and get going. I've got a lot of work to do after all. So I'll make a neutron bomb and hide it inside a cheesecake. No, 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 no. That's really impractical. I don't have enough cheese. Good evening, little fellow. Is that Darkestville Castle? What? What kind of question is that? You're in Darkestville and that's the only castle. Now, please mind your own business. I'm really busy right now. Okay, team. You hear the man. The demon should be trapped inside. Let's do our job. To the hunt! What was I saying? Ah, yes. So let's discard the neutron bomb cheesecake. What about a neutron bomb inside an apple pie? What am I thinking? With that giant rat inside the kitchen, I can't bake anything. Okay. All the plans involving cooking are null. Man. That's like half my repertoire. The job is done, sir. That demon is now inside our prison chest. It won't be bothering you again. We received your payment in the last letter, so I think that's all. Goodbye, and thank you for hiring the Romero brothers. Wait, what? The Romero brothers? They didn't recognize me! <laughs> Ah, uh, once again, my wit and... Wait a minute. 
My castle? What were they doing there? Domingo! They took him away! My lovely fish, Domingo! No one messes with you! Now this is personal! Here used to be my lovely fish, Domingo. As usual, he has nothing in his pockets. Not even his lunch money. That lever releases the wolves. Ah, so many lovely memories tied to this thing. Release the wolves! Mia ha ha! Um, shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Wait, probably has something to do with the fact that I forgot to feed the wolves throughout the entirety of winter. Whoopsie. This is the trash of my castle. I realize now that I produce too much waste for a single demon. I don't remember throwing this at the dumpster. An iron rod, and an almost eaten biology book. Mr. Buttons will have to give me a good explanation about this. It's a blind guy outside a bar with a half-made Cuban mojito. Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Hi! Who goes there? Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, a fine citizen of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Martin Hawkeye from West Spring. So, you're a local, right? Yes. Well, then let me congratulate you. Darkestville is a lovely place. Really? Yeah. The air's so fresh and the climate is perfect. I guess you're right. That reminds me, I have to keep working on that weather machine. What is your business in Darkestville? I came here to explore the natural wonders of this lovely town. I'm on vacation. A tourist in Darkestville. Well, that's something new. We don't have many attractions, you know. I don't care about that. As long as the people are friendly and the drinks are cheap, I'm good to go. The good thing about being a blind tourist is that you don't even have to worry about the view when choosing a room. I never thought about the benefits of being blind. Hmm. Mental note. Return the sight of little Timothy. What is your business in Darkestville? I came here to explore the... A tour... I don't care. The good thing... I never... Hmm. I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they used is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm gonna drink it, eventually. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. What are you doing on the street at this time of the night? I went outside the tavern for some fresh air. Why do you ask? Are the streets of Darkestville dangerous? No, not really. Sadly, the giant mutant chickens are gone. But probably next week, the streets will be dangerous again. There's a shipment of winged tigers on the way. Thanks for the advice. Where are you staying? At the tavern guest room. But the tavern doesn't have any guest rooms. In fact, there are no hotels in Darkestville. Maybe it's something new. It was a really small room, but at least it was clean. Were you... Passing by the tavern kitchen? Yes. That is the cleaning cupboard. That would explain the bleachy smell. I can't complain. The price was really low, and it included breakfast. I have other matters to attend to. See you soon!
I heard that Bernard and Gerard were enemies since childhood. Kind of like me and Dan Teapot. Of course, I'm much more handsome, and Dan is much more stupid. It's a pretty big guy. He looks kind of intimidating. I lost interest in this game when I learned that it's against the game's rules to make your chess pieces shoot laser beams at your opponent. It reads, choose from our varied menu, all at the same price. Caramelized duck with bacon, bacon with caramelized duck, duck with caramelized bacon, duck with bacon all caramelized with a pinch of pepper, and if you're against the natural order of the world, don't forget to taste our vegetarian option. Giovanni, the tavern keeper. We don't mess with this guy. Not only because he's the sole owner of the tavern, which makes him an invaluable provider of different substances, but also because if he gets mad at me, he can break all of my bones. Believe me, it already happened. Twice. He will punch me if I do so. And trust me, his punches do hurt. Hello! Hi! So, how's the business going? It certainly is not going good, thanks to Dennis and demons like you. Yeah, I'll pay you, but thanks. I appreciate you mistrusting me. How much do I owe you? It's two silver coins for the pint of beer, 200 gold coins for the six barrels of ethanol. And don't worry about the matches, they were on the house. Do you accept evil card? You know how this works, Sid. Cash only. I don't have the money with me right now. You don't have any more credit here until you pay me. And it would be better for your health if you did it soon. Do you know anything about that stranger over there? You know my policy. I don't like gossip. I don't make questions. As long as you're my customer, I don't care what you do or who you are. I'd better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon! I think the tavern keeper will not mind if I take some of them. Hello? My na- Shut up! We're playing! Hello? So you are one of the Romero brothers. Yes, I'm Walrus, the muscle of the Romero brothers. And your name is Dan Teapot, right? Oh, it was a pleasure to work for you, sir. You don't find many customers that pay full in advance by mail these days. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. It was easy to figure it out. In your letter, you wrote that you'd be waiting for us outside the castle to help secure the target. Between you and me, I think that putting the demon inside a fish tank was kind of too much. It made everything too easy for us. Where is that demon you recently captured? We put all the demons we catch inside our demon chest. There they are imprisoned forever in some kind of an alternate dimension or something. I don't get much of that technical stuff. But don't worry, he cannot escape. What if he has some kind of super genius and handsome friend outside trying to help him out? Oh, don't worry. Our sister Foxy already thought about that. The chest requires three keys to open, and each of us only has one key. So it's impossible to open the demon chest without our authorization. Unless... Unless... Unless, of course, someone stole each of our keys. But, then again, we are the best demon hunters. No one would ever dare to try that. Except... Except... Except some kind of idiotic moron with absolutely zero conscience about the consequences of his actions. But, then again, we shouldn't worry about that. If there is such an idiot, we will crush him. Yeah... We, uh, don't have to worry about that. I would love to see that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. So, it must be great to be a demon hunter. 
Oh, yes. You meet a lot of people, do exercise, fight evil, travel the world, and taste new drinks. It's great! Ha <laughs> ha! Where's the rest of the team? I'm not sure. I think Foxy is talking with the mayor. And Mongoose must be training somewhere. That lad never rests. Goodbye. I have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. It's the Tavern Dartboard. No one has played with it for years. The darts are heavily attached to the board, and I cannot remove them. That explains why no one has played with this thing for years. It's a can full of trash. I know the expression, one man's trash is another man's treasure, but this time, it is definitely just trash. I used to collect these things, but then I found out I'm allergic to the cheap alloy they're made of. I should try to resurrect this thing one day. Now that I think about it, I wonder what will happen if you make a zombie out of a vegetarian animal. What will he eat instead of brains? Roots? Inside that chest is trapped my lovely fish Domingo. The chest is locked with three locks. I have to find a way to open it. She's Mrs. Johnson, the mayor's secretary. She may look inoffensive, but... She swings her umbrella really hard for a woman of her age. Hey, I can hear you. What are you saying about my age? Nothing. I don't think it's a good moment to start a fight. I cast a gypsy curse on it a few nights ago. The next person who lifts it will turn into a hideous pig. I prefer not to touch it. I don't want to have a horrible disfiguring gypsy curse. Once I played a prank on the local kids with something like this. I put a candy container on the street, but instead of normal candies, I left a bunch of salt-coated ones. <laughs> Also, I put an anti-personnel landmine below it. The explosion left little Timothy without eyebrows for a few weeks. Yuck. Those candies are too sticky and dirty to carry around. They will mess up my inventory. It's a pretty inaccurate portrait of the mayor of Darkestville. Another totally biased depiction of our mayor. The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. What is that big chest doing inside the mayor's house? It's from the three strangers that arrived in town today. They are called the Ramiro brothers. I hear they are demon hunters. If I were you, I would be hiding until they go. What is the mayor doing? He is talking with one of the Ramiro brothers. A woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name. And why do they call themselves the Ramiro brothers if there is a woman in the group? It should be the Ramiro siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's a marketing thing? I don't know. Maybe. I dare you to lift that big trophy over there. I will not lift that. Why? You cast a gypsy curse on it. What? How do you know? I was here the night you did it. Don't you remember? You even asked me for a black candle and four pistachios. Oh. Yeah, I recall now. By the way, uh, do you have any more useful items to lend me? Like a lockpick, a pair of scissors, or a sniper rifle? No. And go do your stuff somewhere else. Good night, Mrs. Johnson. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear.
That would be a waste. It's the town river, full of calm, warm water, and killer piranhas. I will not put my hands in there. I infested that river with killer piranhas. This plant looks like it's made out of rubber. That corner of the woods is full of poisonous insects, rabid rats, weird-looking lizards, lawyers, and all kinds of wild creeps. I realize now that I spend more time than I would like just staring at garbage. Good evening, Mrs. Good evening. May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mmm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? Good night, Mrs. John. Good night. It's a statue of the founder of the town. I made an artistic intervention on it. He looks much cooler now. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. It's our local hobo, Jeffrey Badsock. He's pretty useful. I've tried all kinds of potions on him ever since I was a little demon. Hello? I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Jeffrey Badsock is not drunk enough to know who you are, Sid. I've known you since you were five. Remember that time when you were chasing the town kids with your little flamethrower? And you ended up crying because it ran out of fuel? Yeah! But someone gave me his alcohol so I could have fun with my flamethrower again. Oh, well, that's something any decent person would have done. You were so small and you looked so sad. Hey, you remember that time when you were zapping people with a big blue laser gun? Everyone was running so scared. I remember it as if it were yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Really? Some things never change. What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue solvent. It may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Awful, but it's still better than water. Can I have some of your glue solvent? Uh-uh. If I give it to you, then what will I drink? Why do you always want random items from other people? Are you still turning into a giant purple monster every time you sneeze? Nope. Luckily, the side effects of that thing you gave me to drink faded away. But hey, if you have any more of those flasks, just keep sending them over. That thing was delicious. Did you see anything unusual tonight? I don't recall anything unusual. But maybe a drink will refresh my memory. Look, look, look. Nope, it did not. And now I see everything in black and white. Goodbye. Goodbye, champ. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue solvent tasted like poison in comparison to this. Thanks.
presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, that's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. All the anecdotes that contain, and then I went for the sleeping pills, are good ones. What is it? It's our special Darkestville Mint. Just smell the minty scent. Cool! That'll surely enhance my mojito. Let me try it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, now it's much better. Mm. That was a pretty good taste. And the texture was good, too. It was extra soft. Premium quality. Only the best of the best. Thanks! May I return the glass to the tavern for you? Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you again. Presto! A great idea. Wanna give this a try? What is it? It's our special local beer. Let me try it! Mm. Mm. Ah. This beer is too soft. It tastes almost like water. I think... Let's see what we can find in his pockets. Ah, here it is. One of the keys of the demon chest. One step closer to freeing Domingo. That's Ruffo, the guard dog. He seems to be sleeping, but as soon as any stranger walks past his house, he attacks. Sadly, I fall in the stranger category. That darn dog is guarding his neighborhood. If I walk past his house, he will bite me. Or shoot me. Who's a good boy, Ruffo? Who's a good boy? I can't reach the handle. It's too tall. Presto! It fits perfectly! What do you expect? It's full of trash! Ha! In your face, dog! Ah, victory is so sweet. Now that I think about it, why did I want to come here in the first place? The barrel is filled with a mess of rope. Do you know that it's a crime to read other people's mail? 
I was joking. The mailbox is empty. It seems like someone in this neighborhood was eating my giant mutant chickens. I'll take the giant mutant chicken leg. It'll be handy if I need to scratch my back. <coughs> what? You don't want me to take it? <coughs> I'll just take a few. <coughs> okay, just two, okay? It's Pedro, the owner of the hot dog wagon. A man who travels the world. A man without a home. A man without fear. A man without any semblance of personal hygiene. It reads, hot dog wagon of the flavor, because life is too short to care about food poisoning. A wide variety of hot dog sauces. That is clearly just black ink. I'd rather prefer not to touch him. Hi. Hello, Sid. How's the evil doing going? Uh, tonight is kind of a tough night. Dan Teapot called some demon hunters. Demon hunters? I don't like them. They never buy anything. Good luck fighting them. Pedro, how is business going? Unbelievable. Is that bad or good? Bad. I ran out of my special marinara sauce. I have to replace it with the new clam ink sauce, but no one likes it. It looks like regular ink. Because that's what it is. What about your other sauces? They're just props to give the impression of variety. Neat trick, isn't it? I know, I know, I'm a genius. You don't have to say it. I am a marketing devil. Don't you have one of your special promotions? Yes! When you buy your hot dog, you get up to two free diseases. That sounds terrible. Can I at least choose them? No, they're random. But that's part of the fun. Can you give me some of that ink sauce? I need it for my hot dogs, you'll see. A hot dog without any sauce isn't the same. But let's do something. I will give you all of it if you help me do some marinara sauce. What do you need to make marinara sauce? I need something with a special touch of sophistication. Like what exactly? I don't know. Something that stinks the right way. One hot dog, please. Sure. Wait a minute. You don't have any money, don't you? Well, not at the moment. Sorry, Sid. I have a business to run. I can't give you a free hot dog. Do you accept evil card? Sorry, pal. Only money. Goodbye. See you later. And remember, we are open all night. Hey, that's exactly what I was looking for to make my marinara sauce. It smells perfectly. But please keep the secret. I don't want people to start copying my secret sauce. May I have your clam ink sauce now? Of course. I don't need it anymore. Awesome. This is what's left of my giant mutant chicken army. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
In this bench, I deployed a trap. The problem is, I don't recall what kind of trap it was. I'm not touching that. I put a trap on that bench. Take it, birdie birdie. Ah, uh, now I recall. I put an explosive charge on this bench. Well, those third-degree burns will teach that pigeon not to accept gifts from strangers. Eh, why not? Two million more of those and I can make myself a new pillow. Great. Now I have a quill and ink. I have more important matters to attend to. I don't have time to just stare at mud, but somehow I find it relaxing. Your name will always be remembered. Tall guy who used to cough a lot at the tavern. Charles, you taught us that you should follow your dreams no matter what. Too bad your dream was to stop cargo trains at full speed with your chin. We will miss you. Remember me as the non-bald great man I was. Gonzo Smith, doctor, lawyer, adventurer, good husband, dragon slayer, and king of the East Kingdom. The Compulsive Liar support group will not be the same without you. People used to stumble on the route below and fall through the crypt stairs, so the cemetery administrator decided to build this wooden ramp. People still fall through the crypt stairs, but only on the days I wax the ramp. It's the cemetery crypt. It's too dark to see inside there, and the crypt ladder steps are too tall. Which is a terrible combination. Or a perfect combination if you're planning to throw someone through the ladder. Yeah. Uncle Tim, you are a great person. Thank you for teaching us that being attached to small silly material things and hand grenades don't mix well. Here lies one of the Benson triplets. Yeah! You will be remembered for the astonishing similarities with your brothers. Not only on looks, but also on the lack of criteria at handling explosives. Here lies one of the Benson yeah! triplets. You will be remembered for the astonishing similarities with your brothers. Not only on looks, but also on the lack of criteria at handling explosives. Yeah! Here lies one of the Benson triplets. Hello? Who goes there? Oh, it is you. Dan Teapot, right? Yeah, yeah, you are totally right. I'm him. I mean, it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, the lightning of the Romero brothers. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. Well, you told us you'd be wearing a distinctive hat. Ah, yes, of course, my hat. In my opinion, it would have been easier to recognize you if we knew that you're constantly wearing a weird smiley mask. By the way, why are you wearing that mask? Oh uh, yeah, a mask. That's because I'm a really shy guy. I can't talk with strangers if I'm not wearing my mask. I have mental issues. Mental problems, of course. That explains the payment in advance. What are you doing in the middle of the night at the cemetery? Me. Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. 
You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse. It could be the Big Pie Raptor. The Big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so you've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. It doesn't sound that threatening. <laughs> you say that now, my lad, but if one night you're all alone in a dark alley, and you perceive a shadowy reptilian figure running, and the foul stench of apple pie infects the air, you'd better not come crying to me. But... I understand you. I was once like you, a reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the Big Pie Raptor, until that sad night. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I was going to a dance party with my brand new white suit. When I saw him, it was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, but nothing worked. But one day, one day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, bub. Just calm down. About that demon I hired you to hunt for. Where is it? Oh, that. It's in our demon chest. But don't worry, it will not be bothering you again. It's locked with three locks, and each of us is guarding a different key. There's no way it can be opened without our unanimous consent. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. have to wait until someone walks over it. Huh? Ha! I will mark some footprints with this chicken leg. Just hang in there. This could take some time. Presto! The chicken leg is all muddy now. I'd better discard it. wiser of the ideas to start a fight with someone with a spear. Unless you have a gun. It's a pile of bones with two lovely skulls on top of them. Hello! What's up, Dan? Hurry! I just saw the big pie raptor! Look at his footprints! Sorry, pal, but I will not fall for... Oh my goodness, it is true. They are pointing directly to the crypt. At last, I have you cornered, you apple-scented scum. A master of deception. <laughs> I saw it first. I found a key inside this wallet. Ah, this wallet has no money. What a shame. It's screwed to the bicycle. Come to me, my instrument of eternal terror. Once 
again I've struck terror into the heart of the people of Darkestville. You want to kill me from a heart attack? Give me that thing, and don't you ever dare do that again. Who would have believed that Darkestville Castle had a political agenda? It was a lot of creative work, but now the mayor has a much better agenda. Not only does he have an appointment with me, but by next Saturday, we will declare war with three different countries. I used all the ink, so I'll discard the quill. I don't think I'm going to need it anymore anyway. I will leave this here. Hey, you found it. Thank you, dear. I was looking for this agenda all this time. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. I have an appointment with the mayor right now. Oh, really? Let me check that. Oh, it's true. And according to this is indeed right now. Well, I will inform the mayor about it. Give me a minute, my dear. Mr. Mayor, yes, I have someone here waiting to talk with you. Yes, he has an appointment for right now. It's marked as urgent. Okay, I will tell him. Hello, I would G get out. I I I'm expecting someone important, but I get out. I'll talk with you later. I'm not sure if she has a real tail or if it's some kind of gimmick. She looks nice, though. Hello? Hi, Dan, right? Dan Teapot? Apparently. And you are? I'm Boxy. Boxy Romero? I replied to your letters about hiring us. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. How did you reach the obvious conclusion that I'm Dan Teapot? Well, you told me in your letters that you had a big charming smile. Oh, of course. Also, you told me you were a tall and skinny guy. Charming smile, tall and skinny? Seems that Dan's having serious perception problems about himself. What? Nothing, nothing, just talking to myself. Why are you at the mayor's house? I was presenting our papers to the local authorities. We don't want any trouble with the law. And the rest of the team? Walrus is at the tavern, and Mongoose is training at the cemetery. So, hypothetically, since you're all scattered, if someone wanted to attack your team, this would be the best moment, right? I guess. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> and don't you want to lift that non-cursed golden goblet? No. Why? What? That was a pretty random comment. Really? I thought it was a pretty good way to follow a conversation. And why did you mention it was a non-cursed goblet? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. I was just pointing out that the goblet over there would look pretty good in your hands and that there is no gypsy curse to be worried about. You did it again. Nope. Yes, you just told me that there is no gypsy curse to worry about. Then why are you worrying about that? <laughs> you are so weird. But it's okay, I like weird people. Just lift the goblet. So, to open that chest, you need three keys, right? May I see one? Sorry, but I cannot show you my key. It is part of our code of conduct. If the key falls in the wrong hands, it could cause a lot of trouble. How much trouble? Just imagine if someone released all the demons that are inside the chest into a little town like this. Yes! Just imagine if all those demons became the servants of their savior. And he became the Demon King. And with his new demonic army, he conquers the world! Nyahaha! 
What? Nothing, nothing. I have other matters to attend to. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Dan. Where did you find this? This is Mongoose's wallet. Oh, that. Well, I found it in the cemetery. I hope nothing happened to your friend. If I were you, I would go and investigate it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. I cannot leave the chest alone. I'll wait for Walrus before going to investigate. I hope everything's okay. It looks like Walrus's lucky charm. He never goes out without it. Where did you find this? Um, outside the tavern? Maybe you should go out and investigate about it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. You are right. Something fishy is going on. I better go investigate it. Dan, this is very important. I need you to watch over my stuff. And please don't let anyone manipulate the demon chest while I'm out. Do you understand me? This is very important. Yep, absolutely. You should not worry at all. You are doing the right thing. Goodbye. See you soon. Take your time. Of course I'm going to watch over your stuff. Oh, I can be so charming at times. Now I better act quickly before she returns. Let's see what we've got here. Papers, 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 and here it is. The last key I needed to open the chest. Don't worry, Domingo. I'm here. You're almost out. Just give me a minute to... Domingo! Here you are, buddy. I missed you. Don't worry. I'm here and everything is going to be all right from now on. Um, who are they? Oh, we are the demons of the fifth hell. I'm King Vigo, young one. Now, can you tell me where we are? Sure, let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. And you are now in Darkestville. Darkestville, eh? All right, boys. Now that we're free again, let's go have some fun. We're gonna take Darkestville for ourselves and show those pesky humans who's in charge. Hey, but I've released you. You should be following my orders. <laughs> oh, ah, nice joke, kiddo. Thanks for releasing us. I like your attitude, but... I'm King Vigo. I don't follow orders. Now, let's move forward. This town isn't going to pillage itself. But... Hmm. Who would have thought that demons would be a bunch of ungrateful scoundrels? Well, the important thing is that you're alright, Domingo. Now let's go home so I can build you a new fish tank. Come on, Domingo. Follow me. Here, boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're pretty smart for a fish. Don't worry. I will make a brand new fish tank for you. You will love it. I'll even build a machine gun on top of it so no one can ever bother you again. Come on, buddy. Just a little bit more. You're pretty fast for a giant fish out of water. That's weird. I don't recall leaving the castle door closed. Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Get off my lawn. What? What? Y your lawn? What are you doing inside my castle? Get out of here. So this was your castle? Was? It is my castle. Now open up that door. Nope. Open that door or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the castle in. I don't think so. You don't even have a real mouth. Hey, that was offensive. Thank you. I'll sue you. Do as you wish. I have hordes of undead lawyers under my control. I hope no one just opens the castle door. 
Well, then you will hate it when I... Hey, wait a minute. Nice try. I almost fell for it. Could you kindly open that door? Nope. Open, 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 open. No, 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 no. Open, 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 open. Look, one of us has to be the mature one. And it isn't going to be me. Open, 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 and open. Oh, in the name of everything that is evil. What annoyance. There must be some way of... Yeah, this should be the lever. Oh, imprisoned in my own trap. The irony. At least Dan Teapot isn't here anymore. I wonder if he escaped. Or if he ended up like Waldo. It's a heavy looking metal plate. It has an etching that reads, Model Trapnator 2000 Deluxe. 100% gluten free. Open Sesame. I have no idea what I'm doing. And now it's broken. I don't want to be struck on the head by a falling anvil. But I think that if I crouch the right way, it will not hit me. It seems like the anvil got stuck somewhere. Awesome! Now I got free cable. That's a good idea. Great. How convenient that it worked on the first try. Now I only have to climb out. These guys messed with the wrong demon. I will return them to the hell they came from, and I will recover my castle back. And where the hell is Domingo again? Hi, I'm Sid, Demon of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Jeff, and these are my brothers, Steve and Jesse. Hello. Hi. You look like a cool guy. I was wondering. Maybe you know where we can get some good stuff. That would be awesome. Yeah, good stuff. Did you see a giant fish jumping around? A fat fish? Kinda blue? Yeah, that one! Yeah, we saw it. Yeah, it was pretty cute. And sticky. It was here just a moment ago. I think it went downtown. I'm not sure. I like it. He's adorable. Pretty smart for a fish. What is that good stuff you're talking about? You know what we're looking for, bro. The good stuff. La Cosa Buena. Dobrastvar. Good spool. You know what I mean. The good stuff. What? Sorry, I don't really know what slang you use in this side of town for it. We're looking for diseases. Yeah, diseases. Yeah, dude, the good stuff. Salmonella, diphtheria, hepatitis, meningitis. <laughs> We're up for any diseases we can find in this town. Well, not any diseases. We're trying to avoid tetanus. You know, the hangover from is terrible. We like to party hard, but we're not exactly teenagers anymore. Do you know what's going on inside the castle? We have no clue, man. Vigo's probably plotting something big. Yeah, the boss is always working on some plot. He's the king, you know. Yeah, that guy is smart. We can respect that. Can you help me enter the castle? 
You're a cool guy and all, bro, but we can't let you in. The king told us to guard the entrance. Besides, the door's locked. Yeah, he doesn't want us inside. He thinks we're irresponsible. Yeah, I think it all started after that time he ordered us to take care of his pet gremlin. And instead of that, we went downtown for some good stuff. So we left the gremlin in the shower, and when he came back, he found his castle was overrun by gremlins. That creature can be really annoying if they outnumber you. It seems like your boss doesn't respect you. Yeah, I think we lost the boss's respect after he told us to prepare a landing zone for an intergalactic army he hired to conquer the universe. And instead of that, we went downtown for some good stuff. So when the intergalactic army mothership tried to land, it crashed into the boss's castle and all their forces kinda died horrifically. Yeah, cleaning that was a mess. Do you want to work for a guy who doesn't trust you? We can't blame him. Not after that time he told us to buy some flowers for his anniversary with his girlfriend, Cindy. And instead of that, we went downtown for some good stuff. So she got mad at him because she thought he forgot their anniversary. Well, you know, she kind of set his castle on fire in a bloodthirsty rage. After that, they broke up, and the safety regulations on the castle are much higher now. I have to leave now. Bye. See ya. Later. So here they are, my favorite demon hunters. I didn't expect to find you down here. While I do like the decoration, I think there's too much moisture in this place. Dan! What happened to the demon chest? All the demons we trapped are roaming free! Um, I have no idea what happened. I was guarding the demon chest like you told me when suddenly... Uh, oh yeah, now I remember. Somebody snuck up and sucker punched me. And when I woke up, the chest was open and the town was flooded by demons. You don't remember anything else? You didn't see your attacker? Nope, I'm Dan Teapot. I'm pretty incompetent. But I'm sure that if you could catch those demons in the past, you could hunt them down again, right? I don't think so. Probably the same person who attacked you was the person who drugged Walrus. Mongoose's leg is broken, and on top of that, we don't have the demon chest to capture the demons. We are screwed. We can't even go outside. All those blasted demons want revenge, and if they see us, we are doomed. We're hiding here like rats, waiting for them to leave town. But what if... What if I find the demon chest and bring it here for you? That could help, but Walrus is still sleeping, and we need his strength on the battlefield. But what if I find a way to wake him up? That would be great, but Mongoose's leg is still broken. His speed is essential for our team. But what if... We amputated the leg and just gave him one of those peg legs? Hey, I don't like how that sounds. Oh, a peg leg is super cool. You'll love it. I hear it's the newest trend. Or maybe you know a quicker method to fix a broken leg? Well, in fact, yes. We could concoct a fix bone potion. What is that? It's a potion that fixes all your bones. We use it a lot on our hunts. But it tastes horrible. You want a peg leg? It doesn't taste that bad when you get used to it, now that I remember. I have almost all the ingredients to make a fixed bone potion. The only supplies missing are a purple lizard tail, some insect hair, and some salt. Find me those, and we are good to go. Wonderful! You don't have a recipe to wake up walrus, do you? Nope, but I will tell you what doesn't work, hitting him several times with blunt objects. I like your attitude. So, to sum it up, if I bring you the items to make a fixed bone potion, find a way to wake up Walrus, and bring the demon chest here. Can you imprison all those demons again? Well, in that case, yes. Even if some of them are in a fortified castle? Yes, even if they are inside a fortified castle. Then we have a deal. Just wait a bit and I'll have you guys hunting demons in no time. 
I'm not sure if you should be that optimistic. Hey, what's up? How did you break your leg? I fell down the stairs while chasing the big pie raptor. I bet he put out some kind of trap. By the way, didn't you see me? I recall you were not so far away when I fell. Nope, I'm Dan Teapot. I'm really incompetent. I was distracted. By a squirrel? That squirrel was probably helping the big pie raptor with setting a trap for me. Damn him. I will catch him someday. Are you sure you don't want a peg leg? Yes. But making a peg leg would be so much easier than making that weird potion. But I don't want to lose a leg. But it would save so much time. You could even use the wood from one of these coffins to make it. Sorry, but I still prefer to have both legs. You really are selfish. Can you lend me your spear? No way. My spear and I are one. Then what if we use that spear to make you a peg leg? That way you and your spear will truly be one. Forget it. You shouldn't be so close-minded, you know. The worst risk is not taking any risks. I will not let you amputate one of my legs. Okay, I get it. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and good luck finding the ingredients for the fixed bone potion. It reads, here are the remains of Paul. Hey, I knew that guy. He was a really boring man. Being dead's an upgrade for him. Eh, at least now he has an anecdote to talk about. Okay, that was pretty random. Mushroom fertilizer, a mime book, and a party horn. I'll take the fertilizer and the party horn, but I don't like mimes, even in books. Hello. Yes? So, you're kind of the alchemist of the group. Kind of. We are a classic demon hunter party. Walrus is the tank. Mongoose makes the damage per second. And I'm more like a healer. Do you have any good methods for opening a fortified castle door? Well, a bomb could work. Yes, I was thinking the same. By chance, do you have any kind of explosives to lend me? No, I left the explosives in my other purse. Damn it. Don't worry. If we can get on our feet, Walrus can blow away any door for you. Do you know where to find the demon chest? I bet it still is at the mayor's house. But I'm not sure how you're going to bring the chest here. It's really heavy. The only person I know who can move it is Walrus. Hey, don't underestimate my strength. I've been doing push-ups lately. Or reading about it. The important thing is that I know the technique. I have other matters to attend to. Hello. Hello, young one. Did you eat your vegetables today? Uh, uh, no. Thank God. I was afraid you were one of them. What are you talking about? I don't mean to frighten you, but there are a lot of people eating vegetables in this town. I have seen them doing terrible things to innocent carrots. I have watched in horror how they boiled alive totally harmless eggplants. They spare no one. I even saw one of them slicing a bunch of inoffensive little tomatoes, and they were still just green. Damn them. They were just green. Everyone here is against us. We must hide, Turnip Man. We are in grave danger. Turnip Man? Calm down, I'm not a turnip man. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, demon of Darkestville. And you are? Excellent idea, turnip man. 
we should disguise ourselves so they don't detect us. I would be Mr. Rodriguez, a non-vegetable and totally human gardener. That way, we could infiltrate and save as many vegetables as we can from their farms. What are you talking about? It is true. It's too much of a risk. If we're discovered, surely we will be consumed by those foul beasts. But we must find a way to resist. What are you doing in the cemetery? I'm hiding here, and you should do the same. We are in grave danger, Turnip Man. This twisted land is inhabited by unspeakable savages. They will no doubt murder any vegetable in the most despicable way. I never believed I would say this, but I miss being imprisoned in that bloody demon chest. At least there I was safe from all this madness. So, the people of this town seem to be eating a lot of vegetables. Yes, this truly is terrible. I have seen people performing the most gruesome of rituals, potatoes being skinned alive, then chopped in evenly sized strips to later be submerged in boiling oil. Can you believe it? What kind of twisted imagination could conceive such a thing? What kind of forgotten dark gods are these people serving? French fries. Terrifying. Do you have any plans to resist? The horrors I've witnessed cloud my mind. What about you? What do you think if we take the castle? And then what? The castle may be a strategic point, but supplies would never hold out against the siege. No, we should be hiding out in the open. Mobility will give us an advantage. We can even try to recruit some wild berries to help establish our resistance. What if we start implementing guerrilla tactics to save the oppressed vegetables? I would like to avenge our fallen friends, but when they realize who is attacking, they will undoubtedly revenge themselves upon our captive brothers. The harvests would be accelerated. I cannot ignore the images racking my mind. Salad camps everywhere, rivers of ranch dressing. It would be a massacre. We must keep it quiet. What if we start sending freed vegetables to the north? I hear eating vegetables there is forbidden. I was unaware of such a haven. A boom, surely. But how do you plan to send them there? Well, I know a friend of a friend that could smuggle them out of there. Excellent. Let me think. Right now, the only one healthy enough to survive such a journey would be little Timmy. He has just turned red. Take care of this little tomato. Don't worry, I will keep him safe. Good luck, little Timmy. Luckily for you, this nightmare will soon be over. Why do you think I'm a turnip man? With that skin color and with those pointy feet, you could only be a turnip man. Of course, a white turnip man. But you needn't maintain such deceptions in my presence. We are brethren of the seed. Now that I think about it, I do look like a turnip. Uh -huh. I'm way more charming than a turnip. Goodbye, I'll go scout for wounded lettuces to save. Good luck, Turnip Man, and take care. Maybe I can take a bone, but forget about the skulls. They could bite me. As much as I would love to pet him, I think he's not going to like it. And considering the size of his jaw, I'd rather not do it. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Wow, wow. 
Hey, I find that commentary very offensive, not just because I'm half wolf. I will act like a canine. Uh, sorry, I didn't... A man should be judged by the content of his character, not for his race, color, religion, or lycanthropic condition. L look, I did not... We run a time in history when we should leave our prejudices behind. Look at each other as equals, because no matter if you were born on a different country or you are thirsty for human blood, we are all the same from the inside. And when... Hey, I already said I'm sorry, okay? It seems that we started on the wrong foot. I'm Sid, Demon of Darkestville. And you are? Nice to meet you, Sid. My name is Jack Gutspiller, President of the LRA, Lycanthropes Rights Association. What does the LRA do? We fight for the lycanthrope rights on many fronts. For example, we want equal treatment. We want a positive representation of the lycanthropes on the media. And we want equal payment for equal work, among others. Do you know that lycanthropes are paid 70 cents for each dollar a vampire earn? I had no idea about that. Now you know it. But the question is, what are you going to do now that you know the facts? Want to join the LRA? No thanks. Are you against lycanthropes rights? Of course I am. I'm an instrument of evil. But don't worry, it's not an act of discrimination. I'm against everyone's rights equally. No, oh, I understand. We are okay then. Sorry, but I'd rather have hepatitis than to say that line. What? Nothing. I was just talking to myself. Sorry, but... What? Nothing. So you're a werewolf, right? We prefer the term lycanthropes. We feel that werewolf has a detrimental connotation, and we are trying to change the way people perceive us, even on a linguistic level. And yes, to answer your question, I'm a respectable member of society that happens to be a lycanthrope, and I'm not ashamed of my condition as such. So, you are a werewolf, right? <sighs> Yes, I'm a werewolf. All right, cool. What are you doing outside the tavern? What, a lycanthrope can't just be outside a tavern enjoying the night breeze? No, it's not that. I was just being curious about... About what? Are you implying that because I'm a lycanthrope, I will be outside a tavern waiting for drunk people to go out so I can eat them like a mindless beast? What? No, I wasn't... Look. What I'm doing outside the tavern is my own business. You are not entitled to an explanation of my behavior, and it has nothing to do with the delicious people that are inside the tavern and will be vulnerable on their way out. Talking with you is more complicated than I would like. Do you realize that there is no full moon? I'm aware of that situation. I hope you are not implying that because there is no full moon that I should not be here. It is true that in the past we were subjugated by a system that only allowed us to express ourselves on a full moon basis schedule. But luckily the full moon segregation act was abolished a long time ago. I have to leave. Goodbye. Look what I got here. Do you think that because, oh my god, he has a bone. He has a bone, he has a bone. Please throw it, please throw it, throw it. Throw it for God's sake, just throw it. Go get it. Here it is, here it is, here, here it, here it is. If you tell someone you saw me doing this, I will sue you. Okay, if somebody asks me, this never happened. Yes, this never happened. To the inventory you go. It's a hideous pig. He is not going to like it. Hello. Hey, look. If you've come here on behalf of Vigo to see if I've already dispatched this chest as he ordered me, tell him. Or I'm part of the Demonic Trade Union. I know my rights, and according to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 23, I can take all the time I want to perform a task. And even if in the Part B he is allowed to send a third party to tell me please hurry up, in Part C, 
It stated clearly that I'm allowed to reply, Hey, this thing is taking more time than I expected. So, hey, this thing is taking more time than I expected. Boring. Who are you? Me? I'm Mark Piglinton. But everybody calls me Mr. Piglinton. Proud member of the Demonic Trade Union. I am a licensed crew member specialized in high mask logistics operations. Boring. What? I move heavy things. Oh. You're a new recruit, right? Boring. I don't remember seeing your face. Yes, I'm the new guy. I'm an operator specialized in the delivery of messages, news, notification announcements, and other pieces of valuable information relevant to our organization. What? I'm the errand boy. Oh. Did Vigo tell you to dispatch that chest? According to the directives I received, it should be dropped by the river to sink. Boring. Oh. Mm, he told me not to drop it there yet, but he may come up with a better idea soon. That would infer a delay on a planned activity. Boring. According to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 83, I could demand the delay to cease and start working on said planned activity immediately. A thing that I will not do. If the management needs to momentarily stop this operation, I understand it and I support it. You are so generous. What does the Demonic Trade Union do? The Demon Trade Union is an inclusive coalition of minions, imps, and lesser evils that are employed by a main villain or villainous corporation. We seek to improve the conditions of every hard-working member of the society. It sounds pretty great. Yes. In fact, thanks to the Demonic Trade Union that lobbied along the right-wing fairy coalition, we receive a subsidy on the price we pay for magic dust. Of course, now the gnomes have to pay twice the price they used to pay. But screw them! They should have supported us when we tried to pass the Ban All Holly Damage Weapons Act. Can I join the Demonic Trade Union? Of course you can! We have some minor requirements, though. You have to go to the main office to do the usual paperwork, they check your background, and of course you have to be a legal citizen of the Fifth Health. Your blood type should be A++. You have to donate 75% of your salary to the Demonic Trade Union for a minimum of three eternities. You have to sacrifice your firstborn to Lord Zordak, the destroyer of galaxies. And lastly, you should not be in any way, shape, or form associated with those goddamn Christmas elves. Those miserable Santa zealots were stealing our jobs lately, so we are currently at war with them. <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez, I'm not sure what my blood type is. I know that Lord Zordak thing might sound a bit harsh at first, but thanks to him, we got an awesome dental plan. Believe me, I regret nothing. Boink. You should think about it. Wanna lift that golden goblet over there? It won't turn you in... What? Or nothing, just forget it. Vigo sent me some new orders for you. You should dismantle the gates of Darkestville Castle. Sorry, according to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 4, I'm only assigned to one specific activity, and that activity is moving stuff around. You should contact the dismantling department to do that. Sadly, the guys from the dismantling department were dismantled. They exploded after they tried to dismantle a bomb. <laughs> I have other matters to attend to. See ya. It's the mayor of Darkestville. As you can see, he clearly doesn't look at all like he's depicted on the paintings. And I'm not even sure if he really hunts at all. Um, it was like this when I arrived. Mr. Mayor, you should call the military right now. Demons have overtaken the city. What? Demons? Oh, I see. Again with those silly pranks, Sid. How many times have we talked about this? You should stop doing these kinds of practical j jokes. No, this is not a practical joke, it's the truth. Just get through the door. There are demons everywhere. Nice try. Sorry, Sid. Your tricks are getting old. I'm sure that if I pop up my head over there, I'd receive a pie in my face or something like that. I won't fall for it. You'll not exploit my curiosity. Believe me, demons have taken the city. Sorry, but I will not fall for that. 
I know you're trying to play a prank on me. You know, for being a mayor, you're pretty incompetent. I still can't believe I lost the mayoral election against you. That was because I come from a long lineage of mayors. Your slogan was terrible, and almost all your campaign proposals involved setting the town on fire. Well then, tell me a better way to stop the issues we have with the streetlights. Also, your tax refund policy was obviously non-viable. And according to the polls, most conservative citizens didn't like your plan of building a giant monolith to wake up the deep sea abominations to ask for assistance with the town sewer problems. Now I know why I lost. You were pandering to the polls the whole time. You should call the military and quick. No, sorry, I'm not going to fall into one of your tricks. Come on, just call them. There are demons outside, they're taking the town. The only demon in this town is in front of me, insisting on a bad pun. You should stop doing that. You know the story of the boy who cried wolf? Yes, it's the story of a boy who cried wolf to his grandfather who immediately died from a heart attack. And then the boy becomes a millionaire due to his grandfather's inheritance. That's not the story of the boy who cried wolf. I know. Mine's much better. Do you have any emergency plans in case of an invasion? Of course! How do you think we got rid of the undead so quick last time you revived them? Right now, we're under no invasion, so stop insisting with your puns. I know that in the past I've done terrible things like flooding the marketplace or shooting all the people with names starting with the letter E. But right now I'm trying to help. You have to believe me, there are demons taking over this town. We have to stop them. Sorry, Sid. As you stated, you have a reputation, and I don't believe you. I, I know you're a prankster. Look, I can demonstrate to you that this town is being invaded by demons. You can try, but I will not peek through that d door. I know you will throw a pie at my face or something like that. But the demons are everywhere. Look! Hey, demons! Are you taking over the town? Yes! Of course! No, we are not. <laughs> hey, one of them says that they're not. Who said that? It wasn't me! Sorry, I was confused. You see? They're invading the town. That only proves that you hired a group of people to yell things in order to trick me. And some of them even forgot the script. Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? Sorry, but I'm not going to fall for your tricks. I have learned from my mistakes. I've grown. And I'm taking one of these once a day. What is that? anti gullibility pills. You'd have to be very gullible to buy that kind of stuff. I, I, I know, but I didn't realize it after they started taking effect. Demons have set the town on fire! Do something! The town is not on fire. Why is everyone insisting on puns today? The town is on fire. Demons are pillaging the town. Your wife is having an affair with the mailman. Your wife is having an affair with the mailman? Of course she's not! Well, that would explain why your kids are so tall. Oh, shut up! I have matters to attend to. G -g Goodbye, Sid. May I take some of these? I've been feeling gullible lately. You don't have any idea why you want them, d do you? Nope, but I want them. Well, if that makes you happy, take it. I have more flasks like that at home. Wait, how many of these did you buy? They definitely sold me more than I needed, but of course you don't realize it until you start to take them. Jeez, it was so gullible. It looks like the mayor is redacting a new decree. And with this, I explicitly forbid the creation of any kind of temporal paradox, time paradox, or time travel paradox. Damn! Another restriction. I hate when the government interferes with the private sector. This diploma certifies that the mayor of Darkestville has attended and finished the seminar titled Misrepresentation of Quantum Physics Mixed with Superstitious Quackery with Honorable Merits. Sadly, this is not the most biased portrait I have ever seen.
Now I've got a purple lizard tail. Seems that Pedro is a demon now. Pedro? Is that you? Hey, Sid! Yeah, it's me. I always told you I was a marketing devil. I should have seen this coming. No normal human could smell that bad. So you were a demon all this time. Yes! But I like to keep my profile low. Demon or not, I have to make a living out of selling hot dogs. And displaying my horns would scare human customers away. Then, why are you showing your true self now? Are you kidding me? The town is full of demons at the moment, and I bet they will really be hungry. This is my opportunity to make new clients. What if some villager sees you as a demon? Don't worry about that. People are too worried about this demon invasion to come out of their homes and realize I'm a demon too. Besides, I already overstayed my welcome in this town. I have to go sell my products to new, unexplored markets soon. Have you already had any new customers? No, not really. But I had in mind a new marketing campaign that will be more viral than the salmonella this meat has. What are you planning exactly? A refer friend system. It's a new trend on street food. How does the refer a friend system work? It's easy. I give someone a hot dog card, he gives it to his friends, and for each hot dog they buy, I give the refer one free hot dog. That sounds pretty good. I told you I'm a marketing devil. May I have a hot dog card? I knew I could count on you. Here, take this card. It already has your name on it. Have I become that predictable? Well, you are always looking for free stuff to lose. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye and good luck. Hey, look! I bet you'll find all the diseases you're looking for here. Oh, this is good. This place seems to have quality good stuff. Just look at this photo. You can almost see the diphtheria oozing from that meat. And that sauce looks like it's made out of pure botulism. The good stuff. What are we waiting for? Let's get going, bros. That doesn't need fertilizing. Uh, the moss on this vent smells terrible. I should clean it someday. Maintaining a mushroom garden in good shape is harder than you would expect, but gardening is one of my favorite activities. Besides ruining other people's lives, of course. Let's see if this acts as fast as the box claims. Astonishing! I can see the fast results. I totally endorse Sportron 2000. Surpassing my expectations, he somehow looks more stupid than he was before. Mental note, never eat a hot dog again. Hi guys! Did you try this? 
It's awesome. Yeah, man, you're huge now. I'm getting smaller, dude. I'm getting smaller. <laughs> look at your face, dude. You look all happy with a big smile. You're awesome, dude. But, but his face is getting bigger. You know what? I should become a doctor. <laughs> Hi guys! Did you try? Yeah. I'm. But. No. <laughs> Following a conversation with them would be impossible as they are right now. Hey! Sid! Thanks! I never believed you could find such great customers. They bought a lot of hot dogs, right? Yes! In fact, I've run out of marinara sauce again! And bread. I've sold everything. Cool. Hey, if you don't have any more hot dogs, what happened to my reward? Don't worry, I still have something for you. Ta-da! Uh, sausage? It's the only thing I've got left right now. A lot of old, I mean a lot of fine sausages. What about money? Look, I'll give you all the sausages you want, okay? Then give me more than just one. Hey, don't be a glutton one at a time. I'll give you another one when you finish eating that one. Okay, it could be worse. Now I have unlimited sausages. I have other ma- Goodbye! I like how he dresses. He looks a bit skinny, though. The expression on his face reminds me of my accountant. That couldn't be good. Hello! Hello, sir. Lovely night to play dice, isn't it? Ah! You say that just because you are on a winning streak. No, I say it because it is the truth. Oh, shut up! Let me introduce myself. I'm Frank Brokenford. My angry, skinny friend here is Don Doublehorn. And you, sir, are... I'm Sid, the Demon of Darkestville. Known for performing evil deeds of demonic proportions. One night I even stole one sock out of every pair in town. That's very impressive. It seems like there's an argument going on between you two, right? Don't listen to him. He's embittered because he is terrible with the dice. Me terrible with the dice? I highly suspect that you are cheating all night long. Me? Cheating? Yes, you! Cheating! How is it possible that you went 200 games in a row? And the only time I saw you failing, I'm pretty sure I heard one of the dice saying, I'm sorry boss, my mistake. Please don't fire me. I really need this job. Martha's pregnant again. Do you realize how ridiculous your accusation is? Martha is too old to be pregnant. I mean, that makes no sense. Dice don't talk. You can try to make me look bad in front of him, but I know what I heard, and I'm not playing dice with you anymore. What kind of dice games are you playing? Oh, we're playing Demon Dice. The Southern Hell version. The game is really simple to learn. Each player places a bet, and then they throw the dice. The lowest number wins the game. I bet I could defeat you at dice. Oh, you look really confident, my friend. Let's see if that confidence is well-founded. That's a bad idea. He never loses. Ha! That's because he's never played against me. I like your attitude. What are you going to bet? What can be gambled at dice games? Right now I'm gambling a lot of money. Do you have any cash to match my bet? Do you accept evil card? So you don't have any cash, do you? Not at this moment. Maybe you want to bet your soul? Uh, sorry, I don't have one. I see. Your firstborn son, then. I apologize, but I never wanted to have kids. What about the flesh of an innocent person? There are not many innocent people around town. The flesh of an innocent animal, at least? I'm not sure about that. 
How do I know if it was innocent? Oh, the meat is really tender when the animal was innocent. I have to leave now. So, you're going to bet the flesh of an innocent animal then? Oh, I sense the flesh of a thousand different animals on that item you have. Yes, yes, of course. It's a very unique and expensive item. Crafted especially for demonic rituals and it can even be used for weekend barbecues. All right then. I bet all my money against your special ritualistic meat. Let's play. Take this dice. Remember, the lowest number wins. Ha. Double one. Your turn. Hey, that's very impressive. Double zero. You win. Victory couldn't be sweeter. No, this could not be. I'm sorry, Lord of Darkness. I was, I was defeated. Forgive me. No! What was that? Oh, just forget it. He's overreacting. He does this every time he loses something. Tomorrow he'll be back to gambling again. I see. He is a really bad loser. I apologize on his behalf. And please, don't forget to take this. It's yours. Awesome. Oh, you haven't gone and I already miss you. We shared so little time together, but I really got attached to you, my shiny little friend. Goodbye. Giovanni, take this. This is the money I owed you. Yup, definitely. This is a really unusual night. Okay, Sid, your account is back to zero. If you want to place an order, please let me know. May I order my money back? No. Hello. Hi. What happened with the usual customers? They escaped in fear when the demons entered the tavern. Hey, why did nobody run when I entered the tavern? I'm a demon too. That's discrimination. That's different. We've known you since you were just a kid. Plus, you don't have horns. That's right, but why didn't you kick them out? I was about to do so. But then the demons ordered two bottles of the most expensive wine. You can't kick out customers. Do you have something to wake up a friend that accidentally took sleeping pills? I can give you some coffee. I don't think simple coffee is going to work. He's very big and I gave I mean, he took really strong sleeping pills. Oh, then I know something that could work. I heard the legend of a coffee so strong that it could actually kill a sleeping elephant. But I don't want to kill him. I just want to wake him up. The legend says that it was used on the Hebrew slaves of the ancient Aztec Empire to completely build the whole International Space Station in just one week. I've noticed that this legend you're speaking of has inconsistencies on so many levels. Give me a break, kid. Don't look at the small details. The main point here is, this coffee could wake up your friend. We're not talking about any ordinary coffee, understand? We're talking about El Café de la Muerte. Hey, that sounds pretty great. Please, I would like to order that. Unfortunately, it's really complicated to make, and I don't have all the ingredients. What ingredients are missing? I'll find them for you. Oh, I have almost all the items to make it, from the death parrot to the musical mice. Only four ingredients are missing. I need a piece of fresh fruit, some fish scales, expired medicine, and a hat that's never been worn before. That sounds really arbitrary and random, but don't worry. I will find those items for you. I better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon! Hello, young lady. What is a girl like you doing in this place at this time of the night? I totally understand that. But I'm not a stranger. Let me introduce myself. 
I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. I'm not trying to impress you. That's something I always say when I'm introducing myself. And you are? So, Betsy, I hope that now we've introduced ourselves and I'm not a stranger anymore, we could talk. What are you doing here at this time of the night all alone? I think your boyfriend Seth is taking too much time. Are you sure he told you to wait here? Okay, I was just asking. You know, you have a really bad mouth for a girl. What kind of demon are you? Of course. It is pretty obvious now that you say it. Can you help me enter my castle? No, it's not that. Hey, that escalated quickly. I was not implying that your mother was... What does that have to do with a bad day at work? Okay, I get it. Your head hurt, but... How does that connect with an elephant on a pogo stick? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention, okay? Just forget it. I guess no matter what species they are, I will never understand women. Why do you have a flan? Ah, that's a good trick to win the heart of a man. May I have it? Okay, okay, I get the point. I'm not your kind of guy. Do you know a good way to wake someone who's in a deep sleep? Yes, but my problem is I don't have dynamite. I'll have to think of something different. Do you know a quick method to restore a broken leg? Oh, but I think my friend can't grow new legs. Human health is so complicated. I never remember what they can or can't do. But let's just discard that option. Goodbye. Let's see what happens. Nothing seems to be happening. This is getting weird. This is getting really weird. Hello! Why are you so happy to see me? This souffle is for me? Oh, thanks! I'm sure one day you'll be a great housewife. I can't believe you even handpicked the worms yourself. You really are into details, aren't you? Yes, you will make that man very happy. Goodbye. Broom! I took some of her hairs as a memento. Something fishy is going on in the river. Hello? Domingo! There you are! What are you doing there? Oh, it's true, you are a fish, but what about all the killer piranhas that river has? Well done. That'll teach them not to mess with you. Things have become a little complicated around here, so I want you to stay in the river until I return, okay? Okay. Good boy. He is wearing a sailor costume. 
Broom, broom. Hello. Broom, broom. That thing looks pretty cool. Did you do it yourself? Oh, this, yes, yes. It's pretty fun to play with. It seems so. My name is Sid, the demon of Darkestville. And you are? Me? I'm Bob. Bob Black Eye. So you are a fan of motorcycles, too? Yes, I always... Motorcycles? Why do you ask me that? Well, you told me that you liked my origami motorcycle. That thing over there? That isn't a motorcycle. It's a paper boat. Maybe you are confused because the front wheel is bigger. But that's because it's a custom chopper. What are you talking about? That thing has no wheels at all. Oh, don't try to confuse me. Well, if that is not a boat, why are you dressed as a sailor? What are you talking about? I'm not dressed as a sailor. This is my biker costume. What about the hook, then? What happens with the hook? Usually bikers don't have a hook instead of a hand. Well, then, explain to me how they grab their clubs. What clubs? You know, the clubs bikers use to hit the ball around the big green field. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. They use their hooks to select a club from a bag full of different clubs, and then they hit the little ball with it so the ball enters the holes that are on the green field. Those are not bikers. Those are golfers. Golfers? Yes. Why on earth would a golf player have a hook instead of a hand? It makes no sense. I think you are confused. If you're dressed as a biker, how do you explain the sailor hat? Don't be silly. This is not a sailor hat, it's a biker helmet. A biker helmet? Then why is it made out of paper? Do you know how much a high quality biker helmet costs these days? Of course it's not made of the finest materials, but it looks pretty rad for the price I paid for it. Let me guess. It was free. Yes, I made it myself with an old newspaper. Please, define for me how a biker should look. Like me, with a leather jacket. You don't have a leather jacket. With a leather jacket. Ah, okay, with a leather jacket. What else? A helm. A cool pair of leather boots. You don't even have shoes. What? Damn, they fell. I think I lost my boots. Ah, oh, what an inconvenience. Oh, I think that now I get why you are confusing my biker costume with a sailor one. Why? My costume is incomplete. My biker boots are missing. My jacket is a mess. And also, I couldn't find a big parrot to put on my shoulder. What? Why a parrot? You know, to be the stereotypical biker with a big parrot on their shoulder always cursing and looking for maps to loot treasures. This is getting too silly. Just forget it. What makes you think that the paper boat you're holding in your hand is an origami motorcycle? What makes you think it isn't? Do you realize the thing you're playing with looks exactly like a boat? What are you talking about? Boats have much bigger ears, a long mobile trunk, and massive tusks. Those are elephants. Exactly! My bike doesn't look anything like a pesky elephant. Can you show me how you made it? Of course! I took a piece of paper. Then I moved this here. I fold it in this corner, this fold it in half, give me a second, this goes here, and... Impressive. 
Then we fold the wheels a bit to make them look more round, and ta-da! I think there is a problem in that last step. I know. The wheels don't look as good as I would like. May I have it? Yes, sure. Take it. You do understand that bikes don't have big sails on top of them, right? Of course I understand that. Then why has that thing got a big sail on top of it? This is not a sail. Here's where the bike rider goes. Just between the beak and three back legs. Never mind. Just forget it. Didn't you see a drunk guy around when you arrived here? A hobo? Yes. Carrying a bottle? Yes. That smelled really bad? Yes. With a tentacle hand? Yes. What? No. No, the person I'm talking about doesn't have a tentacle hand. Are you sure? Because I feel like we're talking about the same guy. He had a broken top hat? Yes. With the upper body of a man and the lower body of a centipede? No, he doesn't have the lower body of a centipede. Are you sure? Because if he was your friend, he was looking for a good place to build his web. Yes, we are definitely talking about different subjects. Goodbye. Goodbye, and good luck finding that ring to lift the curse. I'm not... Oh, just forget it. Bro. We're traveling north, little Timmy. To freedom! Viva la revolucion! I don't know why I expected a response. It's just a regular tomato. Take this! A good fresh fruit! Take this! Great! One step closer to make El Café de la Muerte! Take this! Let me check. Yes, it has expired. We are one step closer to El Café de la Muerte. Take this. Great. This paper hat seems like it's never been used. Finally. Just give me one second. Here it is. Behold, El Café de la Muerte. Awesome! You believe it's magic will wake up my friend? His magic? The 30 blisters of dissolved caffeine pills that the recipe calls for. It will wake up your friend one way or another. Great! Hello! Hi! I would like to make an order. What can I do you for? I'd like to order something to eat. Sure! Like what? I would like to order the vegetarian option. Sure, here you go. The vegetarian option. Are you sure this is okay? This is just a bowl of salt. Do you see any meat in there? No? Then that is the vegetarian option. I- What can I- I would like to order something to drink. Sure thing, bud. But I'm running out of drinks here. The only thing I have left is beer, diet soda, and fernet. I would like to order some fernet. Here it goes. I'd better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon. this. I hope it'll wake you up. Oh, what? What am I doing here? Are you awake? Yes. Yes. 
I can see everything now. Everything is so bright. I feel my mind expanding. Walrus, at least you're up. I was starting to worry about you. You don't have to worry about anything. Do you realize that we're just a way for the cosmos to know itself? You are sounding kind of weird. I've never felt so good before. Life is beautiful. Look at this guy's face. Always smiling. We should all be more like him. He definitely is sounding weird. Hello. Do you realize we are made of star stuff? How do you feel? I feel at home. Is that good? Wonderful! I feel so light. Everything is so smooth. Do you think you could fight against hordes of demons in this state? I feel like I could do anything. We are wonderful. How does El Café de la Muerte taste? It tastes like unicorn dreams. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, Dan. You are awesome. Awesome. Purple lizards are really hard to find. Yeah. By the way, what could happen if instead of a purple lizard tail we use a green one? Well, there is a chance of the patient exploding upon consumption. Oh, well, it's just a chance. Yes, around 15%. Why do you ask? Mm, no reason, just curious. This insect hair is huge. Where did you find it? It's a long story. Will it work? I guess. This will come in handy to make the Big Spoon Potion. Don't put too much salt in it. Last time it was horrible. It's medicine, not juice. It's supposed to taste bad. I have all the ingredients to make the potion. Just give me a minute while I prepare it. Here it is. Now drink it. Yep, still horrible. But... Boom! I feel like new now. <laughs> Look at these legs! Are you sure you don't feel a bit... explosive? No, I feel awesome! Great! Thanks, Dan. Without your help, we would never be able to fix Mongoose's legs so quickly. Hello? Yes? Walrus is up. Should we go retake Darkestville Castle? We are not prepared yet. But an awake walrus puts us one step closer. I can see music! And it's beautiful! Even if he is still acting a bit weird. Yeah, I guess he will be more alert than usual for a few days, but don't worry. I bet he'll be back to normal after that. I hope so. Thanks again for waking up, walrus. You are a really great guy. Um, <laughs> you're welcome? Seems that Mongoose is fine. If he hasn't exploded yet, he shouldn't explode, right? No, you gave me the right ingredients, don't worry. Yes, 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 I gave you the right ingredients. Thank you again, Dan. You are a great guy. Oh, well, <laughs> you're welcome. I have other... Hey, what's up? How's that leg going? Wonderful. I feel like new. That fixbone potion tastes terrible, but is so effective. It not only restored my health points, but I'm sure it gave me twice the agility. Did you leave any of that potion? You know how this works. Either you drink the potion or you don't drink the potion. But you never drink half of it. Yeah, that's true. For some reason I could never just drink half a mana potion. I know, right? Ready to bust some demons? Yeah, I'm ready for the dance. I feel quicker than ever. 
When the rest of the party is up, we're going raiding. That's the spirit. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, Dan, and thanks for all the help. I can't use the worm souffle there. Hello! Hey! I have other matters to attend to. See ya! Hey! It's a tongue sandwich! I should give this to someone who will appreciate it. Hello! Hey! Oh, well, the boss just told me that he wants you to drop it in the open crypt in the graveyard. But don't enter the crypt. Just drop it by the entrance ladder. Some of the steps on the ladder are broken and we don't want you to get injured. May the gods protect us from what the Demonic Trade Act demands we do if you get injured. What? That's not only a change of plans, but a further distance to carry that thing. Or... According to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 84, in the case of an unexpected change of plans of a previous planned activity, the union member can strike until their demands are met. So, I'm on strike until my demands are met. What? Sorry, you heard me. I'm on strike. I don't move that chest until my demands are met. What are your demands exactly? I demand a camel lid sandwich a decaffeinated digestive, and a good sweet dessert. What kind of demands are those? I have no idea. I remember them from a union brochure they sent us monthly, in case we need to strike and we run out of ideas for demands. It's very useful. I have other matters. See ya. You are demanding a camelid sandwich, right? Yes. Oh, a llama sandwich. I love llamas. Oh, fern it. The decaffeinated digestive I was demanding. This is much better than I was expecting. Are you going to keep the glass of fern it in your pocket? Yeah, I'm saving it for later. But how are you keeping a full glass in a pocket? The same way you bring it here. Touché! Here is your sweet dessert. The kind I like most. How did you know? If only I knew Vigo was in such a hurry to move this thing. I could have come up with more creative demands, you know? <laughs> ah, but who cares? After leaving this chest at my destination, my three years vacation starts. May the gods bless the demonic trade union. A well-deserved rest. Just don't forget to stay out of the crypt. Just drop the chest by the ladder. Don't worry, I heard you the first time. Now it's time to work. Heh, <laughs> I never get used to saying that kind of stuff. Well, it seems that we've got everything we need to go raid those demons. I'm eager for some action. Walrus, are you sure you can fight like this? Don't worry. The effect of that weird brewage is slowly fading. I feel much more normal now. I still see a flying cursor, though. Then we are good to go. Let's go, brothers. We have demons to catch. To the hunt! Yay! Now to get my castle back. There's one! Holy asparagus! The Romero brothers! <laughs> Watch out! He is armed with a cucumber! One less! Let's hurry! We should take them by surprise! This is your end, foul werewolf! 
The term is lycanthrope. Dom, we can't corner him. He has a restraining order against us. Keep fighting, you fool. That is not valid in this state. Another one goes to the chest. Go, go, go. I'm sure Big Boss is inside this castle. Everyone ready for this? Ready for battle. Oh, I hate boss fights. They're so tense. To the hunt! What is this? What did you do to the Romero brothers? Why is my floor messed up? Why did you move my lamp? Hello again! And the Romero dorks have fallen into my trap. <laughs> what did you do to them? Oh, they are under a spell now. I'll be taking them with me back to the underworld. I think it's time for them to experience some underworld hospitality. <laughs> What? This is unacceptable. You can't do this. If you're leaving first, you have to clean this mess and put the lamp back where it went. Sorry, I'm already leaving. You can keep your dirty castle. I don't know why you wanted it back so badly. It's a trash heap. And there's even a giant rat trapped inside the kitchen. Oh. Lastly, the toilet flusher was already broken when I arrived. Anyway, goodbye. But... Underworld I go! <laughs> well, this was a weird day. But I have my castle back. No more demons, no more demon hunters. The only thing that's left is to clean up this mess. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. I feel like, kinda bad? About the Romero brothers' fate? No. It's not that. It's that guy, Vigo. I saved him from the prison chest, and how does he repay me? He tried to steal my castle! He threw me in my own dungeon, he burned my town, which is something I was planning to do for my birthday, by the way. Then he makes a mess in my room, and now he's stolen my demon hunters! They were looking for me, not him! Who the hell does he think he is stealing my thunder? No one steals from me! Thunder or otherwise, I will steal the Romero brothers back from Vigo. The only problem is finding a way to travel to the underworld. I have a solution to that problem. Forget it. I am too anxious for cliffhangers. Dan, tell me right now, how are we going to travel to the underworld? Follow me! You have to see this! So, this is where you come to cry every time you lose a fight? Nope! This is my parents' basement. I thought you lived in your parents' basement. What kind of loser do you think I am? I live in the attic. You have some really rare stuff down here. I didn't know your family collects ancient demonic artifacts. We didn't. My dad won all this in a school raffle. What an interesting story. How is this going to help me go to the underworld? I'm sure that if you cross that gate, it will lead you to the underworld. Why are you so sure about that? Why don't you ask the gate about it? What? Go ahead, ask the gate. I feel kind of stupid doing this, but... Hello? Underworld Gateway Model 8300 welcomes you to your new travel. Ready to experience the magical wonders of interdimensional warp? What the hell? This door talks. Why did you never tell me you had a talking door? It didn't talk before. The door started talking when all those demons reached town. Ready to experience the magical wonders of interdimensional warp? Mmm, yes? Perfect. Please vocalize your password to proceed. What password? I don't know any password. 
What about... Open Sesame? Sorry, password incorrect. Try again later. If you've forgotten your password, please contact our customer support. Goodbye, and have a nice day. What was that password thing about? Yeah, that's the only problem it has. But I'm sure we can figure out something to use it anyway. A really uncommon door. The rune seem to glow. It has a sticker on its side that reads... Model 8300, serial number 4134, now with 30% less sodium? I don't think it's a good moment to start a fight. Hey, what? Why are you helping me? Why not? You're trying to go to the underworld. You leave the town, I stay, and everybody wins. Also, it's not the first time we've teamed up. Remember the time we fought that evil, invisible man? It was really hard, but we were able to beat him together. Well, I have to confess, there was no invisible man. But it was pretty funny watching you look for him in the rain for hours. If there was no invisible man, who was hitting me in the back of my head? It was me the whole time. But you told me you weren't. I was lying. Oh. Well, that explains why you were the only one able to see him. I can't wait for you to go to the underworld. How did you escape my prison? Oh, that is a story full of suspense, action, and intrigue. I woke up locked in a cell, only equipped with my wit. The room was cold, and the crickets... Oh, just forget it. Do you know if there's a user's guide for the gate? I don't think so. My dad won all this in a school raffle. What you see is what you get. Even the stained glass? Even the stained glass and all the room decoration. Why would your dad want to win something like this? He didn't. He was trying to get me a pony. Do you know anything about the gate's previous owner? Not really. I told you before, my dad won all this on a school raffle. What kind of school puts these things as prizes on a raffle? Uh, that's not even the weirdest thing we won. Once my dad won a shirt with lipstick on it, my mom was so angry until he explained to her it was all a misunderstanding. So you'll never believe what some people will put as a prize. I'm starting to understand how the school raffle thing works. Never mind. Hello? You have attempted to input your password incorrectly recently. Do you want to try again? Or do you want to contact our customer support? I'd like to contact customer support. Welcome to Hellgate Corporation Customer Support. To contact our commercial department, please press 1. To contact technical support, please press 2. To reset your password, please press 3. To leave, please press 4. You are being transferred. Good day, sir. Carlos Herrera speaking. So you want to change your password? Yes. Perfect. I will have to ask you some routine questions before resetting your password. You will have to provide me with your surname, your central number, and the name of your pet. Do you have all this data with you now? Hello? You have attempted. Do you want to... I'd like to contact customer support. Welcome to Hellgate. To contact our commercial department. To con... To reset... To leave... Welcome to our commercial department. For sales, press 1. If you want to cancel your subscription to our service, please press 2. If you want to leave this menu, please press 4. You are being redirected to our sales department. Sales department, Bingo Rosso speaking. How can I help you? I want a plan that adjusts to my daily needs. Let me check your customer profile. You are the owner of the gate you are using to call me now, right? Um, yeah? Give me a minute. So, Mr. De La Morte, looks like you don't use our services that much. You haven't used your gate in years. Maybe what you need is our new combo plus Mega Freedom, diet, gluten-free, smart program. It sounds wonderful. How does it work? That's the best part. It doesn't work. But you will never figure it out since you never use our services. Oh, I see. In that case, I will think about it. A wise decision, but don't lose too much time thinking about it. This kind of special offer doesn't last that long. May I help you with anything else? I would like to go back to the previous menu. Just give me a minute while I redirect you. Welcome to our commercial department. For sales, press 1. 
If you want to cancel your subscription to our service, please press 2. If you want to leave this menu, please press 4. You are being transferred. At last! We were waiting for your call, Agent Purple Cobra. You know what to do. The shipment is on its way to you. Remember, no one knows if the virus is inside the nuclear missile. And don't forget, you have to wait for the signal of the doppelganger of the President's daughter. Roger? I'm not Agent Purple Cobra. This sounds really irregular. I should probably call the police or something. What? I told you this method of communication was stupid. Yeah, because your idea of a ninja homing pigeon was so much better. Who is calling? Identify yourself. I'm not telling you. Quick, intercept the call. Don't worry, I've already traced him. Look what we've got here. So, you think because you were calling us from an old terminal we wouldn't be able to access your data. You were wrong. We know everything about you. You better keep your mouth shut, if you don't want something to happen to you, or one of your relatives. Yeah, it would be terrible if your beloved Mr. Sabado falls in your pool and drowns. Sir, that threat is really ineffective. Mr. Sabado's is pet fish. Don't interrupt me while I'm talking, Wilson. Don't say my name in front of him, Bruce. Why did you say my name? Oh my god, I, I, I didn't want to say it. I'm so sorry, but you said mine first. Come here, I'll give you what you deserve. Stop shouting at me all the time. Well, that was unexpected. Hello? You have a t do you want to- I'd like to contact- Welcome to contact to contact to reset to leave. Please press 4. You are being redirected to our technical support. Good day. I'm the technician Johnny Brakebon. How can I help you? My dimensional gate isn't working properly. What is the problem, sir? I don't know. It doesn't do anything. I understand your problem, sir. What color is your gate? It's gray. I need to reset your central number. Can you please enter the four-digit serial number of your device? I will enter the number. And done. Your central number has been reset. Your new central number is 2431. That should solve my problem? I don't think so, sir. But that is the only thing I can do from here. Thank you for calling the technical support. Have a nice day. You are being transferred. You have attempted to input your password incorrectly recently. Do you want to... I'd like to con... Welcome to contact to con... To reset your... To leave... You are being transferred. Good day, sir. Carlos Herrera speaking. So you want to change your password? Yes. Perfect. I will have to... You will have... Do you have all this data with you now? Of course. Perfect, sir. First, tell me your surname. De La Morte. Perfect, Mr. De La Morte. Now, please tell me the central number of the device we should reset. Perfect. And lastly, Mr. De La Morte, can you please tell me the name of your pet? Mr. Sabado. Excellent. Your password has been reset. Please take note, your new password is Latin Lover 200, okay? Perfect. So I can use my dimensional gate, right? Indeed, sir. Thanks for calling Hellgate Corporation. I want to input my password. Please vocalize your password. Latin Lover 200. Welcome, Mr. Lamort. Your trip to the underworld is ready. Please step on the gate to commence your teleportation. Dan, I'm leaving. I'm traveling to explore the unknown. Good luck. You really were a worthy opponent, Sid. If I don't come back, tell Mr. Buttons that he has to continue my evil legacy. 
I can't believe the things I do to avoid cleaning my home. Don't worry about that, because you are never coming back. So, this is the underworld. Eh, interesting. This room looks pretty much like Dan's basement. Eh, let's move forwards. I still have to find the Romero brothers. These statues are kind of creepy. What's that supposed to represent? The art of the underworld is awful. Just look at that ugly kid in the middle. It looks like someone wasn't able to explore the underworld that much. Hello? Are you related to Waldo? You look very much like him. And you are also as silent as him. Mm, this thing was hanging out from one of his pockets. I'm sure he will not miss his... survivalist magazine. Okay, something tells me the tips inside this magazine aren't that effective. I found a coupon inside. The grumpiest looking carnivorous plant I've ever seen. It looks really tough. Fighting my way in is definitely not an option. No, I'm not ready to die. Hi. What do you want? Can I enter the castle? No, you can't. King Vigo came earlier from his vacation with some humans. He doesn't want to be disturbed. I must talk with King Vigo. Open the gates. No one can enter the castle. It's the direct order of King Vigo. But I'm a very important person. Who are you? Tell me the name of someone really important. King Vigo! No, another one. King Vigo's mom? Exactly! No. Well, that's it. I'm King Vigo's dad. King Vigo's dad is dead. You don't understand. I'm his real father. I don't think so. King Vigo's real dad wears a mustache. And have a pair of horns less than his dead father. And I guess I'm confused. I'm afraid you are, sir. Should I beat him? Mm, I don't think so. The boss will be mad at you if you break another staff this week. That's true. What if I gave you my staff and I just punch him? That's against the rules. I guess you're lucky I'm looking for that promotion. Whew. Do you want to get me killed? Because that's how you get me killed. What are you blabbling? Should I beat him? No! At least not yet. I guess you're lucky I'm looking for that promotion. Whew. Do you know any other way in? No, sir. This is the only entrance. Unless you are asking for the secret entrance. So there is a secret entrance. No. But you just told me. Should I beat him? I don't know. I've suddenly remembered that I have other matters to attend to. Never mind. Can you believe this? Just look at that statue. He looks so cool! Mental note, commission a similar statue of me when I get back home. Thanks for the high expectations, but I can't move it. I can't talk to that. A little and mischievous imp. I wonder what trick he is planning. I don't think it's a good time to kidnap an imp. Hello, little imp. What kind of wicked artifact are you selling? I'm selling cookies, sir! And what kind of cookies are these? Poisonous? Laxatives? Cursed? Oh, let me guess. The green ones. They have some kind of explosive charge inside, right? No, sir. The green ones are pistachio cookies? Poison pistachio? Regular pistachio. And the rest? Vanilla, chocolate, and blueberry. No gimmicks. No poison. No acid. No, sir. That would be hazardous for the customers. What 
What kind of imp are you? I'm an imp scout, sir. I'm selling cookies for the Blind Bats Troop. If we sell 200 more, we're going to travel to Doom Mountain Camp. Imp scouts? Yes, sir. I knew I would find terrible things in the underworld, but this surpasses my expectations. What do the imp scouts do? We do all kinds of interesting things, like bird watching, camping, whistling, hiking. We learn all about respecting wildlife, we feed older people, we feed zombies, and all kinds of fun activities. Do any of those fun activities involve explosives? No, not really. It doesn't sound like real fun to me. Can you scout for another entrance to the castle? Yes, sir. I can be really short-sighted, but I'm a member of the Blind Bat Troop. I can use echolocation to scout an area. Great. Give me a minute. And? What did you find? I found that there's another entrance just to the right of those four guards. There are only two guards. Oh, really? Then my estimations about you being three meters tall are also incorrect. Oh, gosh. Sorry. I should keep practicing. Do you know anything about those carnivorous plants over there? That's a species of Carnivora cherimolium. This kind of plant feeds on unsuspecting burgers. Burgers? Yes, this part of the underworld is infested by flying hamburgers. Luckily in the winter they all immigrate to Gluttony Island. But don't expect to see that particular specimen eating much. Last year it became vegetarian. So now he eats flying broccoli? No, flying carrots. But I highly suspect that the smaller of the flowers is eating bacon when the other ones aren't looking. Are you blind? No, but I'm heavily short-sighted. Can you see my hand? No, but I do know we're in daylight. Isn't that a problem while scouting? As a member of the Blind Bat Troop, I use my other senses to scout. For instance, I can tell by using my heightened olfactory senses that something is burning nearby. We are surrounded by lava. The burnt smell is everywhere. Exactly as I predicted. You see, my short sight isn't a problem for a scout. About the cookie business. Yes? How much for the cookies? It's 20 Bernios for a dozen. You can say our prices are a bit high, but that's nothing compared to the prices of that giant spider on the market. Do you offer free samples? We only feed elderly people or the undead. So, sorry. If you want to try our cookies, you'll have to buy them. If I don't try them, how am I going to know if I like them? I just follow the Imp Scout code. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, sir. It reads, Wanted Dead or Alive, Dark Alberto, The Scourge of the Underworld. Reward, One Million Bernios. A huge and thick spider web is blocking that way. I would normally say it's too heavy to move, but luckily this thing has wheels, so ta-da! Cowabunga! The underworld sewers are big! It's a giant, orange, badass, full of horns, and dead wild boar in a sewer. Because, why not? I can't carry him home. But at least I can take some hair and attempt to clone him later. The page reads, All hail King Vigo! Vigo seizes power of the underworld! Is this the end of the De La Morte dynasty? It seems to be a cookbook page. After the bat sauce is done, go to the refrigerator for the ghost. The rest of it is illegible. Sure. <laughs> no. I'm not sure if it's a crime to read someone else's mail, but who cares? It reads, My love, I'll always be yours. 
Here is my picture so you think about me every night. Yours forever, your cherry pie. And it has the picture of what seems to be an anthropomorphic cherry pie sending a kiss to the camera. It's a Warlock's Club ID card. Eh, no wonder the owner lost his ID. According to this, he's 200 years old. I can't open it with my bare hands. The door has wet paint on it. No, some kinds of toads are poisonous. Hi. Hello. Sad day, isn't it? Why do you say that? Well, this is a terrible day for show business. What happened? Our drummer, Great Flavio, just left the band. We have two shows tomorrow, and we'll have to cancel both of them. Why don't you find a replacement? It's hard to find drummers like him. Was he that good? No, he was 20 centimeters tall. That was his drum. Why don't you have a regular sized drummer in your band then? You just can't use a regular drummer when the name of the band is the Amazing 20 Centimeters Band. But you are taller than that. That's not a problem. I don't go on stage. I'm the manager. By the way, I'm Alexander Krastikavik. And you are? My name is Sid, the Demon of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, Sid. Are you one of those demons that can shrink? Nope, not really. Oh, what a sad day for show business. Are you sure you can't use a regular sized drummer? If there is a normal sized drummer in the amazing 20 centimeters band, the fans will feel betrayed. Besides, they won't fit in my car's glove box anymore. Where did you see him last? Last time I saw him, he was yelling at me, telling me how he was gonna leave the band. He left the studio really angry, went away flying. He can fly? Nope, but when he reached the studio sidewalk, an eagle got him. I hope he's alright. Why has he left the band? 
He accused me of not listening to him, wasting all the band's money on getting drunk, and some other stuff. I couldn't remember the rest. I had a terrible hangover. That is a terrible accusation. Yeah. He also told me that the treatment I was giving him was inhumane. And after all the effort I made to poke extra holes on his jar list so he could breathe cleaner air. Some people never see the things you do for them. Where's the rest of the band? Now they're at the hotel. I left them in my suitcase. I don't want to lose another member. How could I recognize your drummer if I found him? Well, he had large eyes, a slender body with a long and furry tail. He was always eating nuts and moving quickly from one place to the other. You are describing a squirrel. Oh, I never thought about that. But now that you mention it, I guess you are right. He was a squirrel. That explains why he was always storing food around. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the Dragon Contento. If you're looking for some good shooters and the best shows of all the underworld, you came to the right place. My name is Tito. I will be serving you during your visit tonight. How may I help you? When does the show start? The next show is a bit delayed. Unfortunately, our dear Shirley broke the stage after her last number. She is too effusive at times, but she is the best. Really? I guarantee you will never find a better tap dancing whale in any other place of the underworld. So, no more shows today? It seems so. Beto is fixing the stage, but that could take a while. Have you heard anything about King Vigo or the Romero brothers? Yes, I heard that King Vigo returned from holidays earlier, but that's all I heard. It's a shame that he had to come earlier. He really deserved a vacation after all he did for us. The taxes have never been so low, the economy is on the rise, and he implemented a new healthcare system that's formidable. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye. Uh, there's something about him that rubs me the wrong way. Maybe it's his smile. Maybe it's the fact that he is a scary giant arachnid. Call me racist, but I am not touching a giant spider demon. Hello? Hello, stranger. Welcome to Nicolo's friendly shop. I sell the finest craft of cloth around town, and at very good prices. Why is the market so empty? This used to be a vibrant flea market. So, what happened? I ate most of the fleas. I think I have to go. You don't have to worry, my friend. You are a customer. I don't eat customers anymore. I feel so relieved now. What are those wanted signs about? Those are for the bandit known as Dark Alberto. What does he do? Dark Alberto is not a normal entity like you and me. He is a human. So? Every night he performs really annoying acts. Like changing worm pies for apple pies. Teaching imps about safety regulations. Or turning all the local zombies into accountants. That sounds terrible. Yes, I never have seen a zombie horde so boring in my life. Now they seem so lifeless. I would like to buy something. I have all kinds of clothes for you. How much for that orange cloth? You have really fine taste. His color is so vibrant. That piece over there is worth three gold bars and four rubies. Do you accept evil cut? No. Oh. How much for that lovely black cloth? It is lovely indeed and is at a fraction of his regular price. It is worth only two rubies, six diamonds, and three unicorn horns. Uh, 
I don't think I have enough unicorn horns. What a shame. How much for that silky red cloth? I can see you like luxury. The price of that fine piece is worth only a golden elephant, ten silver camels, and your left leg. I like my leg where it is right now. I see. What's the cheapest thing you have? Well, I can sell you my old VHS player for only four diamonds. An old VHS player for four diamonds? Yes, but it's that cheap only because it's a bit damaged. I'm not sure if it works. It conserves his remote control, though. Never mind. At your service. Open sesame! Ha! Now the wet paint is not a problem anymore. Sadly, this dish towel will probably mess up my inventory now that it's saturated with paint, so I'd better discard it. Farewell, my yellow friend! Farewell! I was waiting for you. Maybe you have solved the wagon sewer enigma, and you have left the painted door challenge behind. But you have fallen in my trap this time. What? That bookshelf over there isn't any ordinary bookshelf. It's a demon-eating bookshelf. Leave now, or I will order him to eat you. That bookshelf looks pretty regular to me. Now, Jean-Pierre, he is distracted. Attack! <coughs> Damn you, Jean-Pierre. Why would I build a cybernetic chicken if he didn't obey me? Now go and peck that bounty hunter. I'm not a bounty hunter. Really? Then what are you doing here? I'm looking to find a group of human demon hunters who were pulled to this world by that bloody King Vigo. Have you seen them? There's a big fat guy, a short hyperactive guy, and a cute redhead. No, not really. I knew that Vigo had come back to the underworld, though. But if you were against him, we are on the same team. I'm Dark Alberto, the scourge of the underworld, and he is my assistant, Jean-Pierre. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Darkestville? What a coincidence. Hello? Yes, my friend? So, you know Darkestville? I used to live there, but that was a long time ago. The food was great, but the weather was terrible. Is the tavern still run by old Giuseppe? No, now it's run by his son. Little Giovanni is old enough to be the bartender? Well, he's not exactly little anymore. Wow. Time goes quicker than I thought. What are you doing in the Underworld? I'm the scourge of the Underworld, you know. Basically every night I wake up and I do acts of incommensurable evil against the Underworld denizens. It sounds like a lot of fun. It is, but it's hard to keep up with good innovative ideas. Last week I fed laxative lace birds to the local pigeons so they wrecked havoc on the town. Hey, I was thinking about doing the same thing. Did it work? Well... You should really use a small dose of laxative, or the birds will tend to explode in midair. That sounds even better. Yes, in theory, but if they explode too quickly and while you're still near them, it could become counterproductive. So you're Vigo's enemy? Of course. He's the king. I'm the villain. We are natural enemies. I was already starting to miss ruining his existence. He went to the human world for the holidays sometime last week. But seems that he came back earlier. He probably has missed me too. How did you lose your hand? Did you know that if you mix rubber with sodium, potassium, and evil juice, you obtain a very potent inflammable explosive? No, I didn't know that. Me neither. Do you know any way inside Vigo's castle? Well, the main entrance is guarded by those pesky guards, so you better forget forcing your way through the gate if you want to keep all your bones in place. So, what do you suggest? I heard that there is a secret entrance to the castle catacombs. I don't know exactly where it is, but I have the intel of the model of the automatic door they used. So... So, we can replicate its remote control to open that door. Wonderful! What are we waiting for to build it? Sadly, I don't have the materials to build it. However, if you want to give it a try, the blueprints of it are on the chalkboard. Thanks! I will see if I can build it myself. Can you help me release the Romero brothers? 
No, not really. But that would make Vigo so angry. Nope, nope. I'm a lone wolf. I have other matters to attend to. Have a nice day. And remember, if you tell anyone the location of my hideout, I will cut your throat. These are the blueprints to replicate the hidden door remote control. I could make it, but I would need a regular remote control to use as the base, and some speakers to amplify the positronic waves. It reads, Tired of adjusting bolts with your hands or teeth? Try the new and awesome tool everyone is talking about. Wrench! It sounds like a nice product. I hope they're not overselling it. Hello, Jean-Pierre. <laughs> Robot arms are so cool. With one of these, I could win all the arm wrestling championships. I bet Dark Alberto wouldn't mind if I take some nails. But just some. I need the rest for my inventions. Okay, just some. These things are great for organizing tools. I should buy one of those. I don't know how many screwdrivers I've lost already. Eh, okay, but just one. I'm sure Dark Alberto isn't going to like it if I take all his plush snakes. You're right. It looks like a really ordinary bookshelf. I can't talk to that. Dark Alberto has the complete Eviltronic book collection. How to be an evil mastermind in only 12 easy steps. Ooh, golden edition. And some Italian cookbooks. He looks extremely sneaky. Hello? Hello, young one. Looking to trade some ingredients for your spells? I don't know. What do you sell? Oh no, we don't sell. This is the Warlock Club trading post. Here, the Black Wizards exchange ingredients they are not planning to use for other items they may be looking for. <laughs> cool. What do you have for trade? Are you a member of the Warlocks Club? Yes, of course. May I see your member ID? D um, I don't have it with me at the moment. Then I'm afraid you can't access our trade club. <laughs> Why do you always sound like you're plotting something? It is a birth defect. It's just that. A really troublesome birth defect. <laughs> Sorry. I can't control that. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye. And have a nice day. <laughs> Here's my Warlock Club ID. Good, good. Welcome to the Warlock's trading post, Mr. Juan Carlos El Brujo. Si, senor. May I help you with something? Look, I have some gold. Good, good. Oh, this is human gold. Usually we don't accept human gold, but... Considering the fortune cat stock we have, I can trade you the gold, but only for a fortune cat. The last of my money for a fortune cat? Hmm... Eh, why not? Let's trade. I'm sure this cat will bring me a lot of fortune. It was a pleasure to do business with you.
Hello. What is so funny? What? What? You never saw someone like me? I don't understand what you're talking about. Why are you looking at me with that smile on your face? You want to make fun of how I look? No. I just wanted to start a conversation. Then what are you laughing at? That's my face. I look like this all the time. Look, I have no time to lose talking. I have to repair this stage, and I need to concentrate on this. So if you don't mind, mind your own business. When is the stage going to be ready? Look, funny face. Fixing this stage isn't as easy as you think. I need to concentrate. Can I borrow your hammer? No! Can you give me space to work in? Go away! Have you heard anything about some imprisoned demon hunters? I don't want to start a conversation with you. As you can see, I'm busy. I don't want to end up with a hammered finger. So please, go away. Can you lend me some nails? Nope. But... No! I have other matters to attend to. At last! Go bother someone else. What? Ah, son of a... I told you I need to concentrate. Oh, sorry. Did I disturb you with my horn? Of course. Now shut up and help me find my hammer. Now you see it. Now you don't. Hey, this cat's pretty good. And relentless. What is his name? Oh, uh, his name is Fortunio, the drummer cat. It's the perfect replacement for Flavio. I want it on my show. Are you his manager? Yes, I own all the rights to this cat. Well, I want your lucky cat for the amazing 20 centimeters band. Sounds good. This is awesome. You don't find this kind of talent every day. Let's celebrate. Hey, Tito, whatever he wants to drink, it's on me, okay? As you wish, sir. Tomorrow morning, we will sign Fortunio's contract, okay? Now relax, but try not to get too drunk. Cool, free drinks. Hey. Hello, and welcome to the Dragon Contento. How may I help you? I would like to order something to drink. Our specialties are shooters. We have Gregory Tequila, Penguin Rum, Diamond Vodka, Evil Goo, Bad Juju, and all the varieties of Cucamonga that you can imagine. I'll have a Diamond Vodka. A great choice. Your shooter, sir. I choked on that goddamn diamond. Hey. Hello, and... I would like... Our specialties are shooters. We have and all the I'll have a diamond vodka. A great choice. Your shooter, sir. I choked on that goddamn diamond. Hey, hello. I would like our we have and all the I'll have a diamond vodka. A great choice. Your shooter, sir. I choked on that goddamn diamond. What can I get for this? Mm, I'm afraid you can't buy anything with that. The cheapest thing I can sell you is my old VHS player. But only for four diamonds. It's a bit damaged, and I'm not sure if it works, but it conserves his remote control well. Hey! I would- uh, We have great and all- I'll have a- Oh, I'm sorry, we've run out of diamonds. Would you like to order something else? Sure. I'll have a penguin rum. A great choice. Your shooter, sir. Hmm, sweet.
I've got the nails already. I only need a good hammer to fix this. It'll take me some time. Give me a minute. Presto! And it's very well built considering I did it in just a fade-in, fade-out sequence. I have one of these. Oh no. Another one of those. I don't know what I was thinking when I decided to accept them. Give me that. You have now a 25% discount on any purchase in this shop. Lucky you. Hmm. With those three diamonds in your discount coupon, I could sell you a lovely VHS player. Here you go. Hey, this thing is broken. And here is his remote control. But it seems like someone has eaten the insides of this thing. Sorry, no reimbursements. Thank you for your purchase. How am I supposed to... Sorry, no reimbursements. Thank you for your purchase. Eh, forget it. Hi! Hey, welcome to Praia das Frangos, the most exclusive beach of the underworld. And welcome to the Infernal Crab, your new favorite beach bar. I will be your bartender, Paulo da Costa. Do you accept evil card? Of course, but don't worry about that. You can pay me at the end of the day. Hey, this place is already my favorite bar. I told you. What are you going to drink? Let me see your menu. I would like to order some evil juice. I'm all out of evil juice. What about some rum? I want some evil juice. Sorry, the shipment of evil juice is delayed. Maybe it will arrive tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Is the weather in this place always like this? Nah, in the rainy season everything is on fire. But don't worry, at this time of year, it never rains. Usually. I would like to order a guava milkshake. That guy over there ordered the last one. Oh, really? I've never tasted guavas. I'm sorry, buddy. May I offer you something different? I would like to order some diet soda. Give me a minute. Here you go. Remember to bring back the glass when you are done. That fat pelican looks happy, but it couldn't be healthy. Look at the expression in his eyes. It's like he was on an antidepressive diet. Seems like someone has a drinking problem. I can't talk to that. I'm not touching that. He could pinch me. It's an ugly crab. Oh wait, it's made out of rubber. Eh, why not, it's just a toy. He looks cool and relaxed. Hello? What? I said hello! Oh yes, hello! Are you on vacation? What? I said, are you on vacation? Oh yeah, I'm on vacation. What? What? What did you say? What? I don't understand you. Can you speak louder? I said blah 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 blah. I can't hear you, give me a second. Now that's much better. What did you say my friend? Has anybody ever told you that you have a radio announcer voice? Thank you. I always wanted to work in the radio industry, but I had to run the family business. Someone has to take care of the swamp. 
But who knows? Maybe in the future. Never mind. Goodbye. I can't believe what I'm seeing over there. What? That coconut tree is the best coconut tree ever. Oh. Well, I guess I have seen better coconut trees. But it is pretty, I grant you that. And done. According to the blueprints I saw at Dark Alberto's lair, this mechanism should allow me to open a hidden entrance to Vigo's castle. Now the problem with hidden entrances is that they're hidden. <laughs> no. Okay, now I have a glass of who knows what. Let's name it sewer water. I don't want to carry that around. A coconut just fell. A super fresh coconut. Oh, I was expecting some kind of wild mutation. What a disappointment. And now my glass is broken. Some plastic slippers of dubious taste. They are not my size. Besides, they smell. This place seems great for human sacrifices. I should invite Dan Teapot out here someday. I'm not in the mood to set myself on fire. Let's see... Hey, it works! Now that this is open, I don't think I'm going to need to use this control anymore. I'll discard it. According to this map, this cave is connected with the castle catacombs. I wasn't expecting that. I don't want to pull that lever. It could activate a trap. Nah, I'm kidding. Of course I'm gonna pull this. Presto! Isn't it beautiful when the whole solution of a problem is in the same room as the problem? I can't move it. I bet pulling Excalibur out of the stone was easier than this. It's a pile of photos of wildlife. The topic of this session seems to be Rhinoceros. I'll take just one. Something tells me he died a horrible death. Okay, but just one. These things aren't good for my health. They have too much sugar. Dan? Is that you? Uh, apparently. What are you doing here? Did they catch you too? No, I... I came to rescue you guys. I knew you would come. Do you have the key to our cell? Or some master key? Or a small explosive charge? No, but I found a way to sneak in. Well, that is something. How do you plan to get us out? I don't know. I will come up with a plan. Thanks, Dan. You're our only hope.
Hey. Any news? Any idea where that door leads? Do you mean the one next to our prison? Yes. It goes up to the castle. But it's locked. However, if you are planning to open a locked door, I would like to suggest you focus on the door to our prison. How do you know it's locked? When Vigo leaves, we can hear him securing that door. I've counted, and it's locked with three reinforced locks. Do you know where your weapons are? No, when we woke up, we were already disarmed. I miss my spear. Yeah, I miss it too. We already talked about this, Walrus. The spear is mine. You got the axe. Not this discussion again, guys. We have worse things to worry about. Have you got any gunpowder left? No, my gunpowder bag was gone. But if you bring me a speaker and a remote control, I could modify it to make a small but potent sound wave cannon. Oh, I... I don't think they've got that kind of technology in the underworld. Can you make another fixed bone potion? Why do you want it? I was thinking, maybe you could break all your bones and go through the cell bars and then take the fixed bone potion and get restored. Well, I could break all of your bones. But then who would break mine? I don't like that plan. Yeah, let's forget that idea. Let's focus on solutions that don't include maiming us in a gruesome way. Okay. How is Vigo treating you? He got us locked in here, what can I say? But his food is pretty good. The appetizers are alright. The main course was the best. That lasagna was just the best lasagna ever. It wasn't that good. Sorry, Foxy, but his pasta's just amazing. I prefer your desserts, though. Yeah, besides, his chocolate souffle was a bit overcooked. But I didn't want to say anything to hurt Vigo's feelings. Okay, I have to admit it, his pasta was great, but I'm sure he didn't make it himself. Do you have any escape plan? I tried to pick the padlock, but it was no use. My skill isn't enough. I tried to smash the cell door to break it. But it didn't work. Doors heavily reinforced and my strength isn't enough. I found this dead rat. I told you to get rid of that thing. Yeah, that thing smells. But my plan is brilliant. It makes no sense. That rat isn't going to turn into a zombie. And if by a miracle it does, you will not be able to train it to find the key to our prison. But I like it. And I already gave him a name. Bubbles the zombie rat. Get rid of it. Yeah, it is stinking up our cell. Okay, I'll throw it away. But if it turns into a zombie, you will regret it. Don't worry, I'll be back. You are our only hope. If you're going to turn into a zombie, please don't do it while you're in my pocket. I don't want to cook my hand. Let's see... I think it's overcooked. This picture is ready to be glued. Now we've got a love letter from a rhinoceros. Some picture of my mom. Where did you find it? What is this? Your cherry pie. What does this mean? Uh, I don't know. That little guy over there gave me the letter. I'm going to kill him. Hey, you. What? <coughs> Police brutality. Wait, wait. How many sources your mom? She has two horns in her nose, like my mom. That could apply to almost everyone in your family. What? No, I mean, it could be any rhinoceros. Oh, well, that's true. Maybe she wasn't my mom. 
I think you should ask next time. Hey, you know my mom? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well then, if it isn't, my mistake. No problem, sir. The problem with the mammals is that they can't act in cold blood. Look, you broke another staff. Damn, I'm screwed. The boss will get mad at me. Go inside and change it. I'll cover you. Good idea. And you, there's nothing to see here. Get lost. And if someone asks you, you didn't see a thing. Yes, sir. Gosh, you are really old. The M Scouts are always ready to assist senior citizens like you. So, I have something for you. A cookie a day will keep the doctor away. Just a cookie? Yes, just one cookie. If you're over 200 years, I don't think it's a good idea to give you too much sugar. Or salt. Or fat. Or carbohydrates. So, just one cookie for you. Can I at least pick which flavor? Uh, okay. I have chocolate, pistachio, vanilla, and blueberry cookies. What kind of cookie do you want? I want a vanilla cookie. Here you go! Wait, what if I change my mind? You can change it anytime you want, but as long as it doesn't have any bites in it, okay? Okay. An offering to the dead. An offering to the dead. An offering to the dead. Woo! Hello! Hi! Are you a ghost? Me? Oh, yes sir, I'm a ghost! My name is Ghostly! Huh? You made the ritual to bring me back to this world? Mmm, yeah? Thank you! You're my new best friend! Yeah! Why do you look so happy? Life is fun! But you're dead. Dead is fun! How did you die? Ghostly doesn't like to talk about it. Come on, you can tell your friend Sid. I was walking with a brand new pair of scissors when I realized a group of thieves were waiting for me inside this ruin. Sadly, their smell attracted a group of zombies and they ate the thieves alive, but their screams called the attention of a dragon. The dragon dissolved the zombies with its corrosive breath and just after the dragon flew away, I was bitten by a snake. I don't like snakes. Don't worry, there are no snakes around. I like you, you're my friend. I'm really afraid of snakes. How does it feel to be dead? I feel butterflies in my belly! Well, I think you have a couple of crickets living on what used to be your body. Maybe it's that? I don't know. Maybe? Stop being so happy. You're creeping me out. No! Do you have any clues about the slots and stained glass in this room? Oh, when I was alive, I studied that! Then what's it all about? The legend says that the old kings of the underworld created this place to hide a treasure, and it will be revealed when the three slots are filled with the right items. A bear, a seahorse, and a rat. And no one's filled it yet? Many people have tried, but it seems that it has to be the right bear, seahorse, and rat. I see. Puzzles are funny. No, they're not. They are complicated. I have other matters to attend to. I would follow you, but I have to stay near my corpse. Lucky me. Watch out! A snake! Wow! Hey, what happened to you? I don't know. I'm scared. Why are you blue now? I don't know. Make it stop! Make it stop!
What? Woo! Back to normal! Whee! Why? I don't know! Life is fun! An interesting item you have there. What do you want to trade for it? I want to trade it for the voodoo bear. Great choice. Hope you don't regret it. <laughs> because if you regret it, you can exchange it back here, so don't worry. What a great idea! Look! It's a seahorse! Isn't that beautiful? No, it isn't. This is an abomination. Hey! It fits! There you go, Mr. Claus. It was good to meet you. See, presto, it fits. What is this? A lousily made seahorse? An infantile teddy bear? And a birch brat? This means... Yikes. You're back! We knew you would eventually come back to us, sweet cheeks. Have you already enslaved mankind? Do you have a girlfriend? Have you spread evil among the land? Do you brush your teeth every night? We have so many questions. But sadly, we would never be able to listen to your answers. This is a pre-recorded message, Junior. If you are listening to this, we've been gone for a long time. But we leave you a present. This will help you achieve what you wish. We're sure this is what you need. Why do we know it? We're your parents, after all. If you don't need it now, we're sure you'll need it soon. Time is running out. Goodbye, Junior. Goodbye, sweet cheeks. Remember, as Mama told you, never share your sweets with other kids. Take care of yourself. We love you. Son, never forget you are a Della Morte. Be an instrument of evil. This kingdom is yours. Bye, sweetie. Farewell. Ha! They mistook me for their long lost son. Suckers. Let's see what we got here. I'm sorry, whoever they think I am. I'm taking this for me. The idea is great. But as it is right now, this thing is not explosive. Yet. Now this potassium chloride with rubber and a detonator. This is not explosive yet, but it's the beginning of something. Presto! At least I have explosives. Okay, this is going to blow. Take cover! Three, two, one. Are you ready for some cake? Zero. Now escape. But... Just head that way. I'll join you later. You are not going anywhere. Ouch. 
You! Because of you, there are now three demon hunters loose in the underworld. Do you have any idea what kind of threat they pose down here? Nope, but now we're even. You made a mess in my castle. I will crush you! I will fight to the death, or I will die trying. No, wait, that didn't make much sense. Enough talk! Prepare to die! No. Hey! Don't go that way! That's my place! Don't touch anything! Ah, okay, stop! Wow! This must be Vigo's piggy bank. I feel so poor right now. The skull there looks so evil! To the inventory you go. It looks like Mr. Button's evil twin brother! A fully functional sc Presto! This screwdriver is awesome! Someone has an artistic side in this place. There you are! Would you please stop touching my expensive stuff and just stand still? Nope! Great! It fits perfectly! What a fortunate coincidence! Let's see what we've got inside. A maimed tentacle, a chimp head, diet mayonnaise, and... Jackpot! Delicious walnut pie. It's the Underworld Calendar. According to this, today is Ramon IV of Vinny. Can you please stop running? I still have to capture the Romero brothers. But jogging is healthy, and it's much healthier when you're running for your life. Just stand still a bit more. Nope. Stop doing that, damn you. These corridors are pretty confusing. I think I lost him. So, looks like someone has a lot of time to read. You can always find cool stuff below the couch. Like, for instance, this cat hairball. Yuck! The Angry Villain, the art of yelling at minions. Over 3,000 classic curses to yell at your subordinates when they ruin a plan. I'm betting that if I pull one of these books, a secret door will open. Nah, I'm just kidding. Or am I? I'm betting that if I pull... Nah, I'm just kidding. Or am... This is the job of a fine taxidermist. It looks so alive. I mean, so dead. I mean, so undead. An offering to the dead. An offering to the dead. An offering to the dead. There you are! Would you please stop touching my expensive stuff and just stand still? Nope! Hello? Why do you look so happy? How did you die? How does it feel to be dead? It's the second ghost I've got, so 400 points for me.
Let's see. C slash slash DIR, enter. Hmm. Okay, now. Laser.exe, enter. It works! Uh, according to these signals, mixing ectoplasm with chicken mutagen turns it volatile and flammable. So... why not? Well, so far it is volatile. Hey, what are you doing there? Stop messing with my research! No. And at least there's no fire to ignite the fume. Oh, damn. So, King Vigo was defeated, and once again they used the portals to teleport themselves back to the world of the mortals. This is how the story has come to an end, with Demon Hunters safe and Sid as his friend. You should understand by now why I warned you about this ending. Because a demon should only be kind when he is pretending. And even if in the future, infamous on the underworld he will be, to know that Sid can do good is the saddest thing for a demon like me. Thanks, Dan. You have proven yourself to be an exceptional man. If more people were like you, this world would be a better place. Thank you for your help, Dan Teapot. Ah, uh, there seem to be more than a few things wrong with that sentence. Now that I think of it, where is Dan, anyway? I think he was plotting to trap me in the underworld. I wonder why he failed. What are you talking about? You are Dan Teapot. Oh, yeah. About that, I think we should talk. Thank <laughs> you.